Mic check, mic check. Mic check. Let's see if we live. What's up, Ergotti? Ergotti, we live. I think we live. We're going to get into a good conversation. Just hold on one second, Turk Tally Holics. Are we good? It's your boy, Turk Tally. The number one no fan in the no goddamn universe. If you think you know somebody better than me, you're doing this. <laughs> Boy, stop. We are conquered over here. Let's get this. Thanks for joining, baby. We should have a good crowd today. I'm at 990 subscribers. Almost to 1,000. Yeah. Let's get into it, baby. FSU basketball won the day over USF. 66 to 60, baby. Keep it chopping. Ah. 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 What's up, Cam Sessions? What's up, Sandra? What's up, baby? Rose? Gay? Michael Edge, what's up, baby? Gator Hater, Panama Jack. We all in the building. We got 24 already. Hit that like button, folks. Hit that like button, please. Ah. What up, Donald? We gonna get into this, baby. What's good for real? Sandra? Yep, eight coaches to the go. Let's get into it, baby. We got 33 people watching. Ah. What up, Eddie Blake? Big D? Eric? Todd Pope? Oh, we gonna, uh, Eddie, we gonna get into Coach Talk. This Willie Tag is sick. This is ridiculous. What's up, Mr. Contender? Kendrick? What up, Herb? Got it! Mr. Contender, what's up, baby? We're about to start in two minutes, y'all. We might as well start it up now. Give a sound up, right? What's happening, you turn Tell it hard. Hit that like button, baby. 
Geo 77, what's up? Trouble get that starting spot yet? <laughs> Where we at? No scholarship running backs on staff, on bull. We'll get into that, Sandra. Panama Jack, we'll get into Coach Talk. Eric Wilson, yeah, I'm vibing, baby. Uh, Anthony, cheers. What up? What up, Anthony? All right, let's get into this, baby. What y'all say? We're going to talk about everything from coach hiring, bowl game, recruiting. We'll get to a few things. We're going to start off. We're going to talk about Coach Norvell. We're going to talk about Coach Norvell, right, L5? Y'all think he's a top notch recruiter, y'all? Yeah, we're going to talk about the coaches, Irv. What y'all think about uh, Coach Norvell recruiting prowess? Y'all think he can recruit yet? I say, I say he a good recruiter. Uh, he salvaged the class. What's up, Big Gucci? What's up, Andrew? We got a kind of good house. I say he a good recruiter, y'all. Now, top recruiter, top five? I don't know. Yeah, the jury's still out. Right, Eddie? I agree with that. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks for that, Brandon. Uh, yeah, first weekend, he already got two quarterbacks in 10 days. I think that's amazing. He's pretty good. But we're going to see how he closed out in February. He robbed the whole Louisville class. Yeah, the brand saved the class. Right, Irv. But still, not, but still, he got quarterbacks. That was on him. Florida State brand didn't get those quarterbacks. He got no quarterbacks. And he did, yeah, he doing way better than Taggart did within the time he had. Way better. It's not even close. He making things happen. He moving real fast. Marcella. What's up, Marcella? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, recruit right, Eddie. Right, right, right. Who can't recruit at FSU and he didn't salvage no class? Odell well, Diggins did that. Texas coach Norfell, I like him 100. Andrew says him signing two quarterbacks is big. It is. Agreed on quarterback was on him. Quarterback was huge for this class. I look at it this way, folks. My optimism is back, right? I know I was down. But now my optimism is back because I don't care if we rank number 30 in recruit. Right? How things come together, right? Right, Michael. But my thing is this. I don't care if we got a number 30 class. You know how hard it is for Florida teams to have a good quarterback? Miami hasn't had a good quarterback in how long? I can't even remember. 15 years? The Gators haven't had a quarterback since Tim Tebow. And he wasn't even that good. He was a, You know what I mean? He wasn't that great. He was a runner. He was a fighter. But my thing is this. With a quarterback, with Chubba Purdy at quarterback, we already got the skill position. We need to fix up the offensive line. I think, I think Mark Nor Norvell is if he can coach on the field, if it's good uh, results on the field, he may he, he may have cut down a rebuilding time. Before I was saying three to four years, I'm thinking about two years now. A quarterback changes the game, folks. Y'all don't know how big that quarterback getting two quarterbacks like that is. You can pretty much jump ahead of Florida and Miami. They ain't got no quarterback. A quarterback can win a game pretty much by himself. If you have an elite quarterback, you can beat teams with a better personnel than you have. If, they don't, if their quarterback's garbage, that's a fact. How come none of the recruits? Where we at? And we got a good punter from Australia. I'm, I'm, I'm in Australia. We got the best kickers here in the world. That's all they do is kick balls. 10 days on the job. This is crazy, right, Rose? Uh, Irv got to agree with Eddie. Nick says a couple of grad transfers and maybe not be a long rebuild. Right. That kicker. Tag got a class that was in the 60s to 11. Yeah, that was huge. Just got to win games. Right. If he's so good, how come none of his Memphis recruits follow him? I don't know. But the Florida State brand, he get player, players better than the Memphis recruits anyway. He may not want them. What's up, William Flynn? Where you been? Because they are Memphis players. Right. Not worthy. Right. He don't want them. Memphis have to have some linemen. Cam says, why? Norvell told some players he wants to win now. Yeah, he did. Two years. So what's your guesstimation on the record for the first two seasons? I think next year about 500 and then maybe like eight or nine the second, the second year. But the way he going, he might get seven or eight this, this his first season. It's possible. Landon Purdy means we have some big movement on linemen coming in. Who has the scoop? 
<laughs> Hold on a second, y'all. I put some music back up. I'm making myself laugh. She came. Hold on, y'all. All right. Now, I haven't seen each other with video, Sandra. Eight and four. Get that Stanford off his attacker who's interested in us. New Year's Six by 2023. I don't know. But I think he cut the rebuild in half. I like how he robbed Louisville. Boy, he robbed Louisville blind. And I like it because that's, that's revenge for Lamar Jackson. We took their quarterback. We took their house. We took Jared Jackson defensive end. Man, he ain't playing. And uh, Norvell going to recruits that he had no chance even talking to with Memphis. So he already got the game gone. So even if it's a, I don't think it's much left of Florida. Clemson, Alabama, Georgia, they pretty much pillage Florida. But it's still other areas that Alabama, Clemson, and Georgia can't touch. Like in Arizona, North Dakota. He got ties all over the, um, that area. Pipelines. See? We can get offensive linemen out there. We, got, we can get some Stanford offensive linemen. Uh, we will get in a recruit. We will, we will get in some recruit. Yeah, we, Texas. Um, and pretty much, uh, we sold up the receivers in Florida. We got like the best receiving group. From thank you, Mike Dugan. We gonna get into that too. Take advantage of transfer portal, and the majority of those Memphis recruits cannot compete consistently on this level. Right. We have 15 people. All right, y'all. So we got past that. He a hard worker. Novell's already showing that he got his plan in place. Took him 10 days. Man, he doing a goddamn thing. We don't. He quiet. We don't know what he gonna do, but he moving, he making hires fast. He getting good coaches. How would you convince Purdy to come in without having a plan for a line to protect him? There must be some buffet loving big butts coming in soon. Yeah, he trusts, he trusts Norvell. The recruits trust him. He has a good name. I think he has he's a wildcat type, but he's probably an assistant for Purdy. Yeah, Louisville is done. They done. We 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 ate a whole, we ate a class. Yeah, we'll get, James, we'll get in the coaching staff. We'll get in the coaching staff. Hit that like button, folks. I'm at 990 subscribers. So by next week, I should have a 1,000. We're going to have a celebration party. Make sure you're here next week. Same time. Same day. Linebacker should be solid now, Cam says. All right. My name is Turn Tally. In case it's your first time, it's the one-stop war daddy stop. Chop shop for war daddies and war mamas. We get together and come together, baby. And get to chopping it up. Hit that like button. All right, where we at? Now, as I said before, I'd rather be number 21 right now where we at with 17 commits with Chubba Purdy. And um, I'd rather be that instead of like number 15 with a couple more commits without Chubba Purdy. I think we in a great spot. I'm telling y'all folks, it's hard to get a quarterback, a decent quarterback, and he got a six on a rebuilding squad. Y'all know how huge that is. A number six quarter, dual threat quarterback in the country. You know how hard it is to get a quarterback these days? Ask the Gators. Ask the Hurricanes. Why you think the Gators are mad at us right now? Oh, y'all ain't doing nothing. Y'all ain't top 10. Him and the center, their best friends growing up didn't hurt. Right. Maselli, right. Louisville picked up a good defensive end we offered the next day. Ha <laughs> ha. Quality. We got, yeah, we got a quality class, y'all. QB is everything. Right, Jen? And we got a quality class. Forget the rankings. This is quality. What's up, Cody Don Cole? I know you've been missing me lately, but you'll catch up eventually because I ain't going to stop. Let's go. So he salvaged out the class. Now we can fill out the class nicely. We can fill him out with um, his pipeline. So forget Florida. Florida probably pretty much pillaged. We'll get some more Floridians, I'm thinking. But he can go out outside now. I don't know. He's going to get some linemen in here. All right. Where we at? Now let's talk recruits, y'all. Let's talk recruits. Elite quarterback can make the O line better, right? We'll be in the top ten recruiting next year. Oh yeah. All right. Fill the class. Now let's talk recruits. Let's start with quarterback, y'all. We got Chuba Purdy at quarterback. It's a class. We're talking to class right now. We got Chuba Purdy at quarterback, and we got Rota Maker, right? Now, I was hearing Rotomaker got a better chance of starting because he's going to have the playbook uh, sooner. Because he uh, early signed what Chubba Purdy's not. I uh, heard that, right? But also, it's also I heard that um, 
it's going to be a third. They're going to get a grad transfer quarterback because they don't think, I guess, either if they if he's not comfortable with starting Purdy or Rotomaker, we get a transfer uh, from Stanford. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard about this. His name is uh, KJ Costello from Stanford. I think um, Norvell recruited him to Memphis. That's how they have a relationship. But of course, he didn't want to go to Memphis. He went to Stanford. Oh, Blackman done. So our quarterbacks right now in our quarterback room, Rotomaker better than Blackman right now. Rotomaker, Purdy way better than Blackman. Purdy, Pur Purdy's ceiling so damn high, man. Like Blackman's like a shadow. Like it's it's a wrap. But you got it's a third guy named KJ. Who Costello? Really? You think he another horny brook? If you look at his uh, tape cam, he looked all right to me. He got a way stronger arm than uh, Hornybrook. And plus, he going to be better than any, he better than any quarterback we got now. Yeah, Costello? Costello? No, nah, I ain't going to say he another Hornybrook. I don't think he is, man. Hornybrook gone. Yeah, Hornybrook, Hornybrook gone. Yeah, but I think Costello, uh, I think he all right. For what we got, he'll be good fit. He knows the Memphis. He knows Norvell's offense already. So we'll see. He hit by the running game. He hit by the running game. <laughs> Cause else can throw it more than five yards. Yeah. <laughs> Disrespect for black men. Man, please. Yeah, but uh, Costello, yeah, I think he all right. I watched his tape. He'll be good for us. He's smart. That's all, uh, that's what Norvell like. Norvell likes smart quarterbacks. He won't make stupid throws. All right, where we at? Red shirt chubby. Yeah, probably gonna end up, we might end up, we don't know. We don't know how, if they gonna red shirt chubby or what. I don't know. It's Norvell, man. He gonna, he gonna get us there. I, I, I trust him, don't you think? Yeah, but they gotta compete. I think Purdy's a better athlete than Rotomaker. I think, personally, from what I've seen, he ain't the number, he the number six dual threat quarterback in the country. Like, like, bruh, Chubba's a beast. Don't you think Rotomaker played way better talent? Maybe, but that don't mean he's better because he played better talent. That don't mean he's better than uh, Purdy. They gonna have to compete regardless. We gonna see. I'm not gonna argue about who should start. I'm happy we got him. The better, the better man gonna start anyway. So iron sharpens iron. It's a team. Black Malise, it would be Maker, Wyatt, Rector, Jordan, Travis, Purdy. I don't think we bring in a grab, maybe some grad or Juco lineman, both defense and offense. Well, I heard we bringing in, I heard, I heard we still looking at a transfer, a grad transfer pro for a quarterback. I heard that. We'll see. Um, but we in way better shape with quarterback than we was 10 days ago. I'll tell you that. It's about to get nasty. Just imagine if Norvell win eight or more games in season top five. Yeah, if he win, if he just win seven games, y'all, if Norvell just win seven games, we're going to have a top five class. Watch. Sandra says Norvell said he wasn't looking for any more transfers. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, he ain't playing around there. He won't, he won't quality. What kind of quarterbacks did Norvell play at Memphis? I don't... But I think he played um, he played pocket quarterbacks at Memphis, I believe. Um, but the thing is, he can suit the offense around any quarterback. It's a, it's a pro style. I like it, the pro spread. I, I watched some tape on the pro spread. Really good. Really good, man. Get your honey fried chicken up. Hit that like button, folks. I got the juice to get you loose, baby. I got the juice to get you loose. I stole your lunch money. Yeah, that's me. Welcome to Turk Telly. Goddamn TV. Let's get it! <laughs> Maker has a killer arm, a better arm than Purdy. Maybe, but that still don't make him better. March Purdy out and let him run. Run, mother, what well, run? Sling it, Purdy. What do you think of Jordan Travis? I don't, I'm not a Jordan Travis fan. Ask Boo about that. <laughs> I'm not a Jordan Travis. I don't like his arm. These quarterbacks are already better than Jordan Travis. I like to see Norvell flip some of the Miami commitments in the next Saturday day. Oh, yeah, he can do that. I can see us flipping Miami. Where the maker is like a Tom Brady or Joe Burrow. I don't know. I ain't put him up there with no Joe Burrow yet. Joe Burrow's a Heisman. But we'll see. Travis is like Denard Robinson. Cam, slow down. Stay off. Kendrick say stay off the weed. <laughs> Novell. I know, right? Novell needs to get the stud linebackers in Washington. That's definitely in Vegas. I'm saying not talent-wise, but more pocket. Chubb is Miami's worst nightmare. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, I thought about that. They're not good with mobile quarterbacks. We'll see April 15th. Right, right, Sandra. 
Panama Jack. Rota Maker reminds me of Ryan Mallet. Do y'all remember him from Arkansas? Hey, boo. Turn, what's your beef with Joy? <laughs> I ain't got no beef with this. I'm not a fan. Rota Maker is an early in relay, so we have a big jump on Purdy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the only reason Rota Maker probably, probably yeah. Clemson fans been worried on 247 Sports and Twitter lately because they know once they avail lockdown Florida again, it's a wrap. Yeah, a lot of uh, Gators, Gators looking at us sideways, hurricanes. Yeah, a lot of people looking at Norvell like, oh, damn. And they're looking at the staff. All we, they know Florida State got a lot of talent. We just need the right coaches and evaluators. And it looks like we got them. And they're like, oh, no. The Gators had, they, I told the Gators. I told the Gators. Y'all got y'all window of three years. What you going to do with it? You got it. Florida State's down. For about three, four years, you had your window. You ain't win the SEC. You ain't did nothing. Y'all thinking y'all doing something. Y'all won, what, 10 games? Twice. That's it. Florida State, when the Gators beat, we get championships, don't we? When the Gators beat down, hurt, we get the ACC. We got national championship five years. They win the, they window shrinking. And, they, and Dan Mullen dropped the pooch that last, this recruit. We're going to talk about that recruit class they got going on right now. Norvell got not flipping nothing for Miami players already signed. Oh, he's a Miami fan. That's why you see the Miami spies over here because they know what's going. They know what's about to happen. <laughs> Good luck chasing Purdy over the field. Y'all linebackers better be running four threes. <laughs> uh, a lot. It's still a lot of players we can sign. Uh, Trench made. Is FSU? He said, "Listen, Trench says is FSU trying to bring in Mathis from Largo? I don't know. Never heard of AJ." I think off FSU offense is about to go back to the 80s. Now, offense going to be nice. Our offense is going to be better than... The players are already suited for Norvell. The players we got right now are all pro-style athletes. Most of them. Except for the class probably tag up brought in. But the linemen are already suited. I think the offensive linemen are going to do better in this offense. Running backs, too. Because it's a pro-style... We got a pro-style team still. All right. Hit that like button, folks. Hit that like button. Let's get the running backs. Now, running backs, we get a little scared. I ain't worried about running backs. There's a lot of good running backs out there. Yeah, Terry, I think Terry coming back. About smart move. ESPN team says the FSU is doing something big in Tallahassee. Right, Sandra? Everybody know that, Sandra. That ain't no surprise. Everybody know this. They're like, damn, Norvell first class? Mother they had no good first class. Manny Diaz first class was a bunch of goddamn transfers. What well, uh, what trench made? What what that dude? What that dude said about Miami? What that Miami fan? Yellow. Yellow two six five. What kind of class man did Diaz had his first year? Did he get blue chip quarterbacks in? No. No. Uh, uh, no. Mullen ain't no class like this. First first man, it's a wrap. Norvell is a beast. He want to win. Nah, he say. I think they should go after another wide receiver because something just ain't right about Malachi. Man, I ain't worried about Malachi. With a, with a, with a wide receiver rule, we're going to get into that, Anthony. Pro style offices aren't exciting to me, but they win, uh, boo. They win. Pro style offices win. They good. They good. And he, and he can speed it up. It ain't just a pro style. It's a pro style spread. And, and he can go hurry up. I, he can slow it down. See, that was the problem with Browse. Browse didn't know when to slow it up. He didn't know when to run. He didn't know. Man, I'm telling you, he didn't know how to adjust. This quarterback, I mean, this coach Norvell knows all that. That's why you think he get the coaches in so fast? Because he's a genius on that offense. We about to be the real deal, right, Kendrick? Yeah, basketball. I'm going to get on basketball, Sandra, did it uh, in a bit. Uh, low, oh, okay. Run, running backs. Let's talk running backs. Richeka says, LeBorn toward Philly, and we need at least three more men. I wish Knight and didn't go to you. Him. I heard he cried. He wanted to go. Yeah, he did. But mom wanted him to go to you. Because his mom mad. His mom mad about tagging. Because his mom liked tagging. That's what it is. We ain't getting Knight back. Miami can have him, bro. For what we got at quarterbacks and what we about to fix, they can have Knight. And I ain't worried about Knight. I ain't worried about Sims. We still got, we got a blue chip running back. We got two of them. Panama says we need to sign three running backs. 
salute to his mom, Buse. Yeah, we need three. We need three quarterbacks. I mean, running backs. So we got Toa Philly. We gonna get man. It's a, it's it's good running backs out there, man. And we still got Anthony Grant, and we still got LeBorn if he don't go into the transfer portal. I don't know. I don't trust. I don't trust LeBorn, y'all. I don't trust. I trust Grant. I don't really want Sheffield, but we probably gonna have to use him. And we got where we at? You gotta do reaction on Jadarius Green McKnight. He might be the third best player in the class. Jadarius McKnight. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a uh, highlight film on him. It's funny you say that, Cam. I was gonna. I'm gonna do a highlight. I was thinking, just, just thinking that yesterday. I'm gonna do a highlight film on McKnight. I haven't even seen this tape yet. Most of the time I do a tape on my videos. That's, I'm reacting because that's my first time seeing the tape. I don't watch the. I do that on purpose. I don't watch the tape. And then and then and, and then watch it and do a commentary when y'all see it. That's all legit. That's all real. That's all my real reactions. Like I'm read, yeah, like I'm reading my uh catchphrases, but like, wow, ooh, damn, like all that stuff, that's real. That's a real reaction. Yeah, we got the most where we at? LeBron will be a healthy five-star. He's a five-star, but damn, I'm worried about him smoking weed or doing some dumb stuff to get kicked off, get suspended. He been doing that the whole time. They trying to get a three-star Juco running back. As long as he got speed, I don't care. We had the most talented secondary in the country. You right. Would be Sam. Dog, we got blue chips all in the back end. And boy, if we get T-Buck in. How did FSU let Kevon Lee get out? I like Kevon. Kevon Lee, he run like a madman. I like Key. I wanted Kevon Lee. So we get Dejan. I think we get Dejan Edwards. I can't. I can see the live chat on the bitch. We just can't comment. Okay, uh, that's what uh Chris say. What up, Chris Doyle? I see you. Sorry about that. I don't know. Internet's weird, ain't it? Uh, would be been playing outside position is a safety. Uh, let's see. Kendrick says, do y'all think the defense will be good? Uh, I think it'll be. I think it'll be at least. They'll know what the hell they doing out there, so it'll be better. Everybody know their positions, where they supposed to be. What up, Chris? I see your comments. What up, War Daddy? Uh, would be been playing a position. He is a safety. Yeah, I think I think the first thing is gonna happen. I think the first thing gonna happen, y'all, is you are gonna start seeing people playing in natural position. That's what Novell's gonna have. It. Whatever your whatever your skill set is, that's where you gonna play, and you are gonna compete. And that's how I think that's how they're gonna run Florida State from now on. Ain't gonna be no change of positions. No, we're gonna recruit you for the position where, where you're gonna play at for four years. If you a safety, that's where you're gonna be. If you a corner, whatever your skill set is, that's where that's where the last staff, I think the staff before messed up too. I saw you saw Mickey Andrew at the meeting yesterday, Sandra. We will we will get Dejon Edwards and Jeremiah Jamar Gibbs from Dalton. Never heard of Jamar Gibbs. Run it back. We're going to be fine. Shuffle might show out in the sun, bro. Samuel suck. Oh, Samuel's gone. Ain't Samuel's a senior? We're going to get into that, too. LaDamian Webb, 5'8", 990 pounds. Demore Tate could be the best. we going after the number five. You go running back and Texas A&M running back that's in the portal. Oh, okay. See, it's a lot of backs, man. I ain't worried about backs. Yeah, 4'3", defensive ends. We'll get into that. All right. Tight end. Now, tight end... Is a very important position in Norvell's offense. They gotta be, they gotta be able to block, gotta be able to catch. Because if they can't block, you can't disguise nothing. Right? If they can block, it puts a huge, huge strain on the defense. Now, Carter, Bo Carter Boat, right? He's a great pickup. I saw why Norvell savaged him. Because he, he's a big body, he got hands, he can block. But the, the X factor. Is that tight end that uh, Willie uh, recruited out of uh, uh, out of California? Forgot his name. Somebody help me out. Now that dude is a beast. He is a problem covering. He, but he needs some size and to be able to block. If he gets some size on him and gets his blocking down, you're looking at an All-American. Forgot his goddamn name. But he's a blue chip out of California. Hopefully he stay with us. 
Ah, Stanford Samuels a junior. Stanford Samuels, man, I think Stanford Samuels lost. I don't think he's a bad player. I don't think Stanford Samuels really, I think it's bad coaching on that dude. I think he has a skill set. And the body. Yeah, right. Same as a junior. He's just been coached as bad by Barnett. Not developed properly. Right, D.I. We got we got the best cornerback room in the country, y'all. I look at the rankings and I do my research. Man, I do the so rate highly. We had the number one cornerback in the country, Levante Taylor. And another number one cornerback after him and Akeem did. These are number one corners in the whole goddamn country. And then we got McKnight. We got all these dudes, man. It's a coaching. Our defense is going to be way better, y'all. Our defense next season is going to be way better. Uh, what's that kid named Wyatt but something haven't signed yet? What's going on with him? We're going to talk about that, Sandra. We're going to talk about that. Where I'm at? When I get to receivers, we're going to talk about that. T-Buck, yes, Lord. Uh, Robert Seaford from Lakewood High, fast receiving the state. Can't let him leave the state. Trent says. Ken McDonald, right. Yeah, uh, Pinellas County, right, right, right. I think he'll be able to keep going. Where we at? Yeah, McDonald. Cam McDonald's an X Factor, y'all. Cam McDonald and Kitty will eat people alive. They are athletic freaks. Never used properly, right? He gonna use the hell out of tight ends. Chris, are you on YouTube? Stanford Samuels is barbecue chicken. <laughs> yeah, Cam McDonald. I think Jordan Travis breaks out next year. We are going to be the talk of college football. We already are. Is Warren Thompson staying? I don't know. I don't know. Play Taylor wrong. I think he did say he probably developed. We are going to be back on top. The defense will be night and day from coaching alone. Right. Defense is going to be really good next year. All right. We'll talk about receiver, Sandra. Uh, what was your question, Sandra? Where's Sandra? I saw your question about... Oh, Wyman. Okay. Let's look at the corner. Let's look at the wide receiver room before we talk about Wyman, right? All right. Wide receiver. Warren Thomas, a crybaby. Yeah, he is. Imagine with Travis J at. Yeah, I forgot about Travis J. We loaded. Woo. What you got? What you about? I got the clout. The best to done it. No doubt. Mama said, knock you the hell out. Hit that like button. Maybe we got 63 in the room. My name is Turtali. This channel is blowing up. It's lit. All right, y'all. Let's go. Where we at? Okay, so wide receiver. Help was nice. Yeah, we got we loaded with wide receiver. Brownlee Green. Ellie, I think we win six to eight next season. All right. No avail. Looking like he trying to win ten. Good lord. All right, we got Brian Robinson. Let's talk about Brian Robinson. We loaded that wide receiver, y'all. All right, Brian Robinson. Alabama wanted Brian Robinson. I did not know that. Right? Alabama wanted Brian Robinson. We beat Alabama out for Brian Robinson, y'all. What up, Gerard? You late, but you right on time. You know? Um, I'm always there when you call, but I'm always on time. <laughs> it's all right, Gerard. I've only been on about 30 minutes. Is Terry coming back? I think he is, Tegan. What's up, Tegan? Forget why, but I would rather get a wide receiver that decided to be at FSU. This Wayne crap indecision. Over here wants a natty. My man Tally, what's poppin'? What's up, Vernon? Milla! What's happening, baby? Alright. Let's see. Who we at? Alright, so Brian Robinson, we beat him out. Beat Alabama out. We got Jakai Douglas out of New Orleans. Great slot guy. He's like a Keyshawn Hilton, but I think he bought it faster. Novell, Novell's a big, Novell's a big, um, he's a big, um, well, I just forgot what I was going to say. Hold on, y'all. I'm too busy reading the comments and, and, and my, I lose my train of thought. Um, oh, Novell's a big, um, special teams guy. He sees special teams can win, can win a game for you, right? You really think? Yeah, I think Terry will return, y'all. I think he'll return. 
If he want to be a first round pick and get more money, he should return. This, the tape this year ain't enough. Talented. Oh yeah, Rota Maker, Jaheim Bell. What do you think of point him quarter rope by signing? Oh, because we need tight ends. It's a tight end offense. Where we at? Okay, so Norvell is a big, big special teams guy, right? And Ja'Kai Douglas, he gonna have him. He already said Norvell said he already gonna have him at punt return. So I'm, 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 I'm giddy. I'm like Norvell. I like how Norvell think. You can put a freshman in there with speed at punt return. You don't need it. You don't need to have college experience on special teams. Catch the ball, run it that way. I like how no, I like I like Novell the way he he's aggressive. He said he, he said I'm having Jakai Douglas at punt return, probably kick return too, because he's big on special teams. Uh, and then we got Kentron Portier. Now this 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 kid is electric. He's a three star, but who cares? Screw stars. This kid's a monster. Uh, I believe uh, the wide receiver, what's his name? Who was the big receiver that played with Winston? Not not, not Rashad Green, not the other guy, but the guy, the big tall guy. <laughs> My brain is going today. He's a two, he was a two-star. But anyway, let's see where we at. Some block punts. Yeah, I want to see some block punts. You probably see a lot of punt returns for touchdowns this season, too. Who do you think would be our breakout stars? I don't know. Who we, How are we looking at our offensive line? I'll get to that. Extra points. We go for two. So who will be our running back for the bowl game? We'll get there. Hey, Benjamin. Benjamin. I'm sorry, y'all. Benjamin. So Kelvin Benjamin was a two-star. Now, Poirier, we beat out the Florida Gators for him. Yeah, Benjamin, a six foot ten tackle with nice. I know it's committed F FCU. Dion says Jarvis Brownlee and Travis J might be best defensive backs on team, but nobody knows because they were red shirt freshmen. Trevor Purdy, what type of talent did he play against in high school? I don't care, man. His ceiling high. Look at this. Look at him. My God. Florida State don't just recruit nobodies. Miami kids have speed, right? But so do New Orleans got some speed too. Look what they doing right now at uh, LSU. That's where Ja'Kai Douglas from. And I think I think LSU, I'm not saying LSU didn't want him, but I don't think they had enough room, thank God. He would he would definitely been a get for LSU. And look how they doing. So that's a good get. We may be losing to no one but Clemson. I don't know, Sandra. Um, what was I at? 48. He was wanted by Florida. He was wanted by Auburn. That's why Florida Gay looking at us like, what the hell are they doing over there? So we got a great receiver room. Now, as far as Wideman goes, yeah, I say about two years we'll be able to beat Clemson. About two years. Now, as far as Wideman goes, because we're going to have probably Trevor Purdy starting in about two years. He's going to be developed. Boy. Woo! Anyway. Now, as far as uh, Wideman, I'm not really... I'm not really worried anymore about him coming to us or not. I was, but 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 look at that, Brian Robinson, Chakad, and K and Portier. I don't see how I should be. We should be stressing about why. He can play basketball. He'd be good for the basketball team. He's a better football player. But I'm not hurting if he come or not. I heard a rumor that it was grades. I heard some that it was uh, indecisiveness. Or some that he just wait till February. He don't want to sign early. Maybe he just he just want to see his option. That's fine. But my thing is, I'm not going to lose my mind if we don't get wide. I would have lost my mind. I was about to lose my mind when we lost Jalen Knight. But now I'm like, what was I worried about? I'm looking at what he, I'm looking at Norvell, how he getting the needs. He's addressing all our needs. So I'm like, forget Knight. We good. Yeah, yeah. Chubb was a stud, man. Uh, Chubb was a stud. I ain't worried about who he played. He's a goddamn beast. Damn. Norvell had a freshman wide receiver about the same size as Douglas that he used like a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, Norvell got, he gonna have some things. In. Norvell ain't never had these type of weapons. Hit that light button, folks. I'm getting turned. Norvell had a team full of three stars and two stars. 
they was ranked number 18 in the goddamn country. We can't even come close to be playing with Memphis on the same. We don't belong on the same field with Memphis. They was number 18 with a bunch of two stars and three stars. Uh, not no fail. About to get four stars, five stars. Ooh, it's about to get nasty. Ah, uh, speed kills, right? Love you. Love you. So funny, make me laugh. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Carl. That's what I try to do. I make people laugh, baby. We lit. Elliot, right? We lit. I think it's funny that Davin Cook's brother went to Georgia instead of FSU. And look at him now. He's doing nothing. Purdy or Tate will be the starter. I don't know, Donald. They might get red shirt. And we might, I don't know. We'll see. Two years beating Clemson, not with the recruit class they just got. No, not necessarily. Because you know what? Stars can buzz. Just ask Florida State. We won a national championship. Look at, our, look at the classes we had. Because then you know what? Because when you win, you're getting all the five stars. You're getting the lazy dudes that just want to jump on board. But see, right now, we're getting the hard workers in. We're getting the three stars, right? You're like, oh, they're only three stars. It don't matter. They're going to work hard to build your program up. They're the foundation. They're going to be the beasts, the goons, the hungry ones. Because you know what? Because they're the five stars. Gonna, after we start winning, the five stars come in. That's the lazy ones. They might, they might bring your program down. So don't think Clemson got everything on the wrap because they're getting all these five stars. Hey, five stars can bust. Five stars can bring attitudes. Five stars can get, get mad about competition. They, they want the easy ride. They can bring your program down. You, we, we should know that by now. We should know that. It ain't about that four and five stars all the time. You need some of them, but if you fill them up, a bunch of divas. I'm the man. I'm the man. No, I'm the man. See? I think outside the box. What's up, Anzel? What's up? Clemson don't have better coaches. Than yeah, right! Yeah, some of these studs leaving, right? Yeah, so we're we going to have a transfer. We're going to have a lot of transfers. We're going to have a lot of transfers. But I don't care. It ain't, about, it ain't about the two, three, four, five stars. Right, Mike? It's about development. It's about hunger. To, it ain't just about development. It's about recruiting the right guys. And that's what uh, Norvell's doing. The ones ain't scared of nobody. The ones ain't scared of competition. The ones who are willing to put work in. See? That's what Norvell doing. That's why he's telling them the truth. He don't want no softies. Florida State's the number one team and it will be again. Right. Dion says Clemson don't have better coaches. Yeah, yeah. Right. We got some coaches now. That's why the Gators are Hurricanes right now on this feed right now. <laughs> Where we at? What's up, Hakeem? Where we at? Gray Jones ran a live boat over like a Mack truck. The Seminoles are my favorite team. Got here late. What's up, Chris? Chris just won their OC to the Virgin Rest of South Florida. Right. See? See? What's up, IT? Isn't that great? Boy, where you get them shades? Cool Breeze, hit the like and subscribe. What up? What up, baby? Thanks for joining the Turtelli Show. Almost to a thousand, IT. Portier also is very athletic. He also plays basketball. Yeah. What's good, Christopher Bennett? Man, this turn tally. Holy, oh, we getting so big. I, I can't recognize most of y'all names. <laughs> but as I said before, we getting the three stars and the four. That's the foundation. And you know what? It don't goddamn matter. Norvell was getting nothing but three stars. Norvell, and look what he did. Number 18. Norvell don't look at stars. Y'all look at that stars. He evaluated their mental capacity, how smart they are. Are they hungry? Are they putting it? Put it. He said, that's how he does his interviews. He's, he's, he's interviewing these kids. If, please. We gonna be good, y'all. Yeah, let's go. What up? Big D's, you're exactly right about recruiting. Right. Stars. Stars matter when it comes to offensive line. No, it don't. No, it don't. Size and strength and heart matter. What about, hey, Gio, what about Landon Dickerson? That marshmallow cream puff hurt magnet? No, he was a five star. Man, forget five. Forget stars. He's softer than lollipops. Landon Dickerson. Call it. Sometimes a two and three star athlete is just as good as just getting overlooked. Right. It's about evaluation. 
We're gonna get the old line, Christopher. I know everybody wanna get to that. 65 up in here. Five star divas. Yeah, they divas. Look what they did. Look what they did. Look what the five star divas did to us. Hey, Clemson. Them runs don't. Hey, y'all Florida State fans should know this. Them runs don't last forever. Clemson's on a run right now. It don't last forever. Uh, Novell said he's looking for no more about yeah stars. Yeah, Novell ain't recruiting stars, y'all. That's what Jimbo did. Look what happened. That's what Clemson doing right now. <laughs> stars don't mean nothing, man. It don't. Did Dickerson transfer to Bama? Yeah, oh, five star. And didn't he play? And he only played like five games for us in, in three years. He was always hurt. Crying. Missed the block. They got Francois' career almost ended against Bama. Five star. We just need guys that are ready to play and don't grow out on the field. Right. So did. Oh. Five stars. Yeah, Novell might get us a championship, right? Yeah, at best, Clemson is trending right now. Clemson, yeah, they trending because they in the playoffs again. They might win it again. So they're the, they're the hot topic right now. Right? We was the hot topic before they before, before they was getting them three stars, right? We was the hot topic. Jameis Winston, three crab legs. We got three, what, 20... 20 how many straight wins we had pretty much we lost one game in two years so we was the hot topic Clemson was quiet they was getting the three stars right a couple four stars like we doing right now and they built it up with good coaching and development that's what we going that's what's going we, we gonna get them can we get to a thousand oh get ahead we on oh yeah we, I'm gonna get to a thousand by next Saturday I'm only like 10 away right now as far as I know we still Clemson Daddy, people forget. Yeah, we still Clemson Daddy. Uh, Star, thank, no worries. No, no problem, Sandra. Stars don't do amount to nothing. We need some cornbread, eating engine, lifting raw meat, pitching cow raising on the old line. I know guys that that three stars is better than some of the four stars. Right. I think you're right, Turn. This very well would be a 10-win season. We be back. We can win. I don't know about 10. I'm saying six to eight. But 10 maybe the next year. I'm saying six to eight this year. 10 would be... A, Anything more than seven? No, put it this way. Yeah. Any more, any, anything better than seven, like eight or something, seven to eight, that's a great season, man, for a first-year head coach. Oh, we ain't going to beat Clemson for a while, y'all. Uh-uh. Not with, if, if we had, if, if what's his face, if Trevor Lawrence was leaving, I think we'd have a chance, maybe. But he coming back. <laughs> Because then, because if he left, they'd be playing a true freshman probably. Speed and strength training for all the kids in the all season. Right, right, right. All right. Offensive line, y'all. I know y'all wait for offensive line. Let's get the offensive line. Let, yeah, we do get pushed around. Not anymore. Offensive line, y'all. All right. We got Thomas Schrader. We got two tackles. Thomas Schrader, Zane Herring, and Lloyd Willis. Now, Lloyd Willis is another project, right? We can't afford no projects right now. I don't know, Trench, about that. Hit that like button, folks. All recruits want to bring FSU back on the map. Right. Clemson start dropping money bags. They have good coaches. Their run has only been four years to show you how credible our run was. Right. Right, Norvell. Lit. Cheap goddamn liquor. Hit that like button, y'all. Hit that like button, folks. Where we at? Out of defense alone. Okay. Now, now off is a line. We got two tackles. One's a project, Lloyd Willis. One's like he could, but I think they're both gonna be red shirt. Right? Now, anybody got any news? Thanks, Carla. Thanks, Carla. Anybody got any news on what's the plan for offensive line? Does anybody have any news on that? Like, what are we going to do? Are we going through the transfer portal? Who they got eyes on? Yeah, keeping Dugas was big. That's how we got the receiver. Thanks, Sandra. Anybody got any news on offensive line? What we doing? I know we going in the transfer portal. I know that. Yeah, we need grad, we need grad transfers. We need about three to four tackles. 
I want at least three to four tackles, man. This is ridiculous. I want to flip the line. I want to flip the line, y'all. I say about three or we we pretty good. I, I don't trust I don't trust our interior, but we our interior with Dante Lucas, we still need a little depth. But I feel I'm not I'm not really bad. I don't feel too bad about our um our tackles. I mean our um guards. It's the tackles that I'm worried about. Now I know he got a plan in place. I'm not even worried because I, I see what Norvell's do, done so far. Coach Dilly is following everybody that plays offensive line. I love Lloyd's very quick. He used to play basketball. Eight nothing last. Eight nothing last. Novell got pretty much all Willie recruits plus 15 more of his own. Nothing less than eight wins. This is the year we should take off because we kept most of the recruits. Have they hired a strength coach yet? No, I don't think so. You are cool, Lit Pearson. Um, Pearson. Ah, uh, where we at? So it'll be grad transfers. I guess nobody has information on that. Norvell be, do be tight lip. So I say it'll be grad transfers. That's what we're looking at. About three, four tackles. But I'm telling you, we might be in for it on some, on some blue chip offensive line because you got to remember, we got a new offensive line coach coming in. He could bring some boys from the, from the North Dakota, Arizona. Where's he from? Oh, TCU, Texas. Texas. Yeah, we got some good offensive line. We're going four man down spread, so that's a good for the linebackers. And we got offensive line. We will not be stopped. Memphis probably would have beat us this year, the truth be known. Memphis would have beat our ass. Honey fried chicken, right? Say hit that like button, folks. My name is Turn Tally, the host is with the goddamn Moses, baby. I'm on the mic speaking to the goddamn Turn Tally, the Horlicks, the War Daddies, the War Mamas. Even some, we got some Swamp Ducks and Bubba Canes in here, but hey, y'all welcome too, baby. Because this is the best show on the goddamn web. Let's get it to it for Florida State, that is. Let's go. Yeah, Stanford off as a tackle, right, right. Uh, he's supposed to be hiring a strength and conditioning coach, Rose Say, Eric Gotti said off as a tackle from Stanford. Uh, Willie Tackle was an embarrassment, Carla said. What's up, good? What's up, uh, Beats by Ace? What's up? Novell wants the kid from CSU, the kid from Nebraska, and the 3G. Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, here we go. So, Beats say Novell wants a kid from Colorado State. Whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. The kid from Nebraska, I'm definitely with that. And three juke goals for Marshall. Boy, we gonna be fine. Offensive line gonna come together, y'all. Offensive line just needed time. We got 70 in here, baby. Get lit. All right. Once the team start, I'm not freezing them. Once the team start, start losing the consistency, that's when the problems start. Yeah. Cincinnati, yeah. That's when our problem started, when we lost Pruitt. You right, Big D's. See? That's why runs don't last. People don't understand that. That's why runs don't last long in college football, because once you start winning, you get poached. Your, 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 good, your good coaches get poached. That's how it works, because you can't afford them. They just get poached. Because they had not lost one in about six years, but Ohio State, Alabama, and everyone else consistently, constantly replacing them. Yeah, now Clemson's starting to feel that pain. Everybody want their coaches. Right. Ever she was the ACC. Right, Sandra. Turn, where are your thoughts on Norvell? Oh, he's, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. I believe I can fly. Tag it. What are you talking about, tag it? Stop talking about tag it, y'all. God dang. Y'all the biggest fans of turn. Y'all the biggest fans of tag it. Turn tally. What's good? What's up, Mike Merrick? Jimbo Fishers, I wanted to put us in the mess. I believe he tells the team. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> well, the boosters ain't help. All line has gotten people killed. Yeah, it has. Right? Right? How long you think Clemson will be on top of the ACC? <laughs> About two more years. I feel bad for FAU because they have Taggart. <laughs> Will you stop bringing up Taggart, man? Okay, I get it. Enough about Taggart. We talking about something else right now, okay? Juco running back coming in soon, and Louisville probably going to give us two more on linemen. Yeah, I heard about that. Dang, Louisville will give us two more linemen? <laughs> yeah, you got to know how to replace him. Norvell can replace his coaches. He's used to it. Man, that guardian goal is going to look nice on the ladies. FSU, baby. 
<laughs> For all you Willie Taggart haters, Norville is in exactly the same position as he was. The offensive line that got Jimbo fired, then Willie Taggart. Norville will be next. The offensive line don't get better. Very true. Very true. 29 games straight. Right. Please stop talking about it. Yeah. Get some honey fried chicken. No more. Yeah, no more tagging talk. It's all. It's uh. It's all about the Coach Norvell era, right? Going to the years Norvell could lead to championship, right? Right, Carla. All right. Where we at? Defensive ends. Let's talk defensive ends, y'all. Defensive ends. We got any people in here? I'm lit. Full highs. Got damn right. <laughs> right. Let's go. All right. Let's go. We done with the offensive line. We gonna get in the coaches, y'all. Cause we gonna we got we gotta do. We ain't just gotta go in. Y'all 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 gotta remember. Y'all gotta remember, y'all. There's still some blue chip offensive linemen that didn't go early, right? We gotta t we gonna talk about the coaches and that's gonna open up some pipelines. We might get some blue chips. That's why, why you think the Gators and the Hurricanes looking at us like, so, y'all still 21? Why y'all here talking to us? Because you know what? Because they know we happy. They not too happy with my, don't, don't get it twisted, folks. We at 21, but we happy. Why is that? Because of the quality, goddammit. Look at the Miami Hurricanes on the floor of the Gators. I don't, I don't pay attention to them. I don't, I don't go to their boards. I don't know who they getting. But I can tell how they talking and by their actions what they be doing. They be telling on they self. Why you over here posting about us? Talking about why the Florida State fans so happy. Y'all 21. If you were so happy, you wouldn't be worried about why we so happy. Because you happy. I ain't that like button. They upset. They thought their class was going to be the... They thought their class was going to be on fire because they got 10 wins too straight. Mullen can't recruit. Mullen can't recruit, y'all. <laughs> and we gonna get into that. We gonna get into all that. Uh, where we at? Hey, mama. In the house? Where you been? <laughs> this channel getting fat, mama. We was the ACC Florida State. Man, there's 83 people in here. I'm about to get paid. <laughs> Wait, how good defense the end chance for Louisville? All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. Defense, okay, where we at? Defensive ends. We got Josh Griffiths. Beast. Quality. Blue chip. We got Jared Jackson for Louisville, right? Now, the good thing, this is the thing. Now, I was upset a little bit about Morvin Joseph going to Tennessee, right? <laughs> Tennessee, we ain't got to play them. They're never going to be good, not for years to come. So we ain't got to worry about playing against Morvin. At least he ain't go to the Gators, right? That's what the Gators mad about, too. Now, he going to Tennessee. Now, the good thing about Norvell working so fast. Now he he got a beast coming in. I'm gonna do some tape. I'm gonna do a tape on Jared Jackson for sure. I haven't seen what he can do, but I heard he mean as hell. He'll hurt you. Now Jared Jackson is a is a great replacement for Morvick. Was why? Because he's already developed, ready to go. Morvick Joseph, we don't know if he was ready to go or not. We don't know. He might have been a red shirt. Jared Jackson ready to play today. So that's all. I'm happy. I'm over Morvin. You always want more bodies, but we can get more. We can get more bodies. We still looking at that dude in the transfer portal, uh, Bia. Uh, let's see. No care about the ACC before we came, and that's why no one cares about Clemson to this day. Right? Candle. Okay, here we go. So Geo, we got ninety people in here. Hit that like button, folks. My name is Turn Tally, the host with the goddamn Moses. We in prime time. This the one stop for the war daddies and war mamas. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button so you can get my updates all the goddamn time. Boy, stop. We are conquered over here. Get your cheap goddamn liquor, baby. Let's talk it up, chop it up. Where we at? No, okay, we got Kane though, right, right. So defense at end, we pretty good. 
We still got, K hopefully they will transfer. Hold your breath. But we still got Kane, though, Robinson, right? They was both coming on real strong before they got injured. Uh, I think it was, uh, I forgot which one got hurt. I think it was uh, Kane, though. I can't remember. I, can't, I don't know. But they good. They blue chips, right? They'll probably be starting. Maybe. I don't know with Norvell. They might, he might not like them. You know, Novell, it's going to be a lot of people throwing up and, and going to the transfer for because they're not used to this type of work in practice. They like dancing. Not no more. Kano, Robinson, McClendon, Briggs, Chapman, Fan, Griffiths, Jackson. We got a lot of bodies. That's some good depth. Very good depth. Novell going to bring that swagger back, right? That, that heart, that determination, that grit. We need a defensive back, bad coach. The cornerbacks need some great coaching. We got good cornerbacks with bad cover skills. Yeah, um, what's his face? Hopefully we get T-Buck. He was sitting on campus. He was sitting on campus a few days ago. T-Buck, y'all, was sitting on campus. Because we got that coach from, uh, that linebacker from, uh, linebacker coach from Mississippi State. Um, we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna talk coaches. What we at? We need Marvin. We don't need Marvin. No, we don't. You saying we need Marvin until you start seeing other names pop up. We don't need Marvin. Where we at? Kano got hurt. Okay. Call it say I'm lit. Marvin got one going one rounder. Yeah. Thanks, Sandra. Jared Jackson needs some work. Yeah, uh, now nah, he'll be all right, man. They all need work. It's called a program. Trust me. He got the body. It's a big dude. Nasty. He'll be fine. Yeah, Whoopi should go back to safety, hopefully. Going to miss Akers, but I'm happy for him. Eh, I'm not really going to miss Akers like that. <laughs> we good. Marvin is definitely gone. Yeah, of course. We will get a take. I'm not worried about him. We'll get a take off as a line tackle decommitted from TCU. Yeah, we'll get some TCU guys. Akers is a steal. Whoever drives the Akers is getting a steal. Yeah, Miami and Florida. All right. So defensive ends, we good, y'all. Now, let's talk defensive tackles. Defensive tackles. We got Emmanuel Rodgers, right? Now, I'm thinking we're going to load up on defensive tackles because I don't feel good about Robert Cooper. I can see Robert Cooper staying, but Corey Durden, which is not – really, what has he really done? I'm thinking Corey Dur Durden might uh, transfer Cause he was a transfer portal before. I always keep track of that. But I don't really care about on our defensive front. I don't care who transfer. I really don't. I'm not big on any of them. I like I like Robert Cooper. That's about it. <laughs> uh, I'm not big on Durden. Oh Briggs, Briggs is Briggs. Is, I think Briggs in the middle. Briggs good. Uh, what was that? Somebody, somebody comment on my Twitter. I'm never on Twitter. Let me check my Twitter when I get off of here. I'm never on Twitter, y'all. I know I got the link up. Uh, where we at? Thanks, thanks, wife. Thanks, wifey. Love you. We need Mickey Andrews. Florida and Miami fans work because they don't see them getting better than what they're now. They may have reached their ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Right. Gators have reached a ceiling for sure. Hurricanes, I don't, uh, oh, God. I love your channel so much, I need more people like you on YouTube. Thanks, Carla. Briggs is a beast. During the beast? Ah, uh, I ain't see it. I like Briggs and B. I I like Briggs and Robert. I think Dirt might be gone, y'all. But I'm not, I don't care. We need a little help on the defensive inside. Yeah, we do. I'm glad we run the 4-3. Right. Right, that's what we recruit well at, 4-3. I think... It's gonna be some folk, it's gonna be some some blue chips pop that's gonna come on the radar that we, we didn't have before. I think we're gonna load up on the defensive line. We need defensive line. Defensive ends, we pretty good, y'all. We might get one more. But defensive tackles, I feel we gotta get at least two more. Alright? But Emmanuel Rogers is a beast. But I don't know if he's ready for that next move. But we need some we need some dudes that can play now. So I'm thinking we're gonna load up. We may get one more out the high school and may get two out of the transfer portal. We gonna be fine, y'all. We we savage the Norvell savage the class, y'all. 
So now all we gotta do is just fill it out. We gonna be top 15, top. Shoot, we might jump jump the top 10. We got a lot of room. Uh, start calling the mighty Gator. Mighty Gators a mighty second, right? Thompson is good. Yeah, true Thompson. True Thompson. Yeah, Willie Taylor recruited well, y'all. Y'all y'all about to find out. I forgot about True Thompson. Yeah, that's a big dude, man. Red shirt. I think he might have played. Sorry, as our seniors were, he probably played. Uh, where we at? Start calling. True Thompson. He a dog. Yeah, he big. I heard he could be a mean, nasty player. Right. Hopefully he stay. This small sign with Washington. I don't know. We can fit about 10 more recruits. Yeah. See? We can fit about 10 more people, y'all. We sitting at 21. Only reason we sitting there, we got quality. We just sitting there because we ain't got we ain't fill up the class. The quarterback that beat y'all. What are you talking about? What are you gonna talk about? Michael Lamar went to the transfer portal. Where did he go? Oh, I don't know. The five star smalls, did he sign with Washington? No coach. I don't know. Definitely top 15. Yeah, top 15 is a good spot. Turn Talent Norvell's a plan to fill the roster. Oh, hell yeah, he do. Hit that like button, folks. We lit. The Florida State fans happy. The Miami fans, Gator fans, they don't like when we happy, y'all. They know. They know what's coming down the pipe. All right. <laughs> they like when I'm sitting up here mad. Oh, okay. Thanks for that, uh, Sandra. She hit up with the news. Uh, I think, no, oh, since the eighth grade, put in. Sir five, I think Norvell will get the players to fill the holes to help this team get better. Smalls already signed. We came in second as recruitment. Same with Washington. <laughs> Washington. Washington ain't gonna be nothing. Yeah, uh, T-Buck was on campus, I heard, a few days ago. Yeah, he was. Can we all just come together as no fans think can make us for everything? Thank you, Cam. I was about to, about to ask you, are you on Twitter? Yeah, I'm on Twitter if you go into my uh, description. But I'll never put anything on there. I never do it. I put I put a few links. I never on Twitter. I ain't gonna even lie. Uh, I need to, I need to do more on Twitter. It's hard. I, I, when I, I, maybe I'll get better on Twitter and uh, Instagram. I'm just focused on YouTube, getting that getting that grown. And I'm pretty much where I'm going to be on YouTube. Then I can kind of learn about other stuff. Gators was mad as hell on National Saturday Day because they didn't flip people they thought they was going to flip. Yeah, we gonna talk about that. Jackson was a buzz. He was a full star too. Twitter is salt. <laughs> there's a song. There's my song, T Clan Bay. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Gator hater. Butler's best recruiting trick is his wife kissing on players. T Punk came for the Florida Hall of Fame. That's why he was Italian. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go. Where we at? Yeah, he was there for that award. That's true. All right. Where we at? All right, cornerbacks. Uh, cornerbacks, at least. I don't really care if we didn't pick up no more quarterback cornerbacks. We got Demore Tate. I rather I rather say screw cornerbacks, and it's fill out everything else. But we got Demore Tate at corner. A dog, a beast. We always get the corners. This, this is Dion's house. We all know Dion built this, so we always gonna get the corners at Florida State. People are laughing at us. Say, we thought you were, were right. Well, we didn't know fly zone, but they weren't laughing when Jalen Ramsey beat the Miami Hurricanes by himself at the cornerback position. Remember that? The Miami Hurricanes laughing at us now, but they weren't laughing that night when one cornerback, one cornerback stole your whole night. <laughs> we the real DBU. Everybody know that. But I digress. Let's go to uh. Let's see. Hey, shout out to, hey y'all, shout out to Lynn New, that idiot I had to block the other day, but heard about my video because I'm hurting his feelings, trash of the Miami Hurricanes. This is a Florida State channel, what you expect? Over there putting comment, comment, comment. He probably watching right now. Shout out to Lynn New, you got your two minutes of fame, you moron. <laughs> I, just thought, I just thought about him, Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, Blackman might as well transfer. Yeah, Jared Jackson's scary, y'all. What's up, Kendrick Ross? All right. Let's go to safety. I ain't going to spend too much time wasting my time on, 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 on cornerback. Let's go to safety. Jadarius McKnight. Yeah, we got we going to have some good DNs, y'all. McClendon, Curtis fan, right. We got some sleepers, y'all. Jackson's a big toy. Right. Uh, Jadarius McKnight is safety. 
We need some good safety play. We got good safeties. We got Woodby. Now we got Jadarius McKnight. We got some headhunters, right? And hopefully our defensive coordinator, Adam Fuller, which I think he will put our guys in the right position to succeed. You are the right person to represent the nose. You get good information. Thanks, Quentin. Dow Langston, Blackman will start next year. We ain't starting a freshman. Uh, I think a freshman, I'd start a freshman over Blackman. You can't say that. Every coach is different. Coaches, this, back in the day, that was a fact. Today, freshmen starting all the goddamn time. Trevor Lawrence, is the quarterback that talented? Look at Trevor Lawrence. If you that talented, you starting right away. But Trevor didn't start right away, but he took position in the middle of the season. And won a championship. Kashawn Fuller, Fuller going to be nice defensive end. Right. I forgot about him. Blackman going to transfer, I think. The quarterback room right now is so goddamn lit. Hit that like button, folks. My name is Turn Tally. Like hot sauce pouring a hot catfish out of a frying pan. We about to make Simulation Nation great again. Shout out to Coach Novell, baby. What am I playing on here? My troll song be trolling me all the goddamn time. I mean, shut up. Where we at? All right. Don't forget about him, homie. Why would we start a... Yeah, we can start a freshman. She said Blackman going to FAU. Willie don't want him. Still looking for D Wiggins. Samuel's still looking for D Wiggins. He trying to troll y'all. And y'all still looking for FIU. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry as hey. Is Purdy as good as Lawrence? Ah, I can't say that. I know he faster than Lawrence. And he got a he got a cannon for an arm. They, they pretty much match Lawrence. Lawrence can't move like Purdy. Purdy's a high blue chip quarterback, man. He got the arm. He can run you over. He can run around you. He can throw. Any throw, he can throw, he can make any throw on the field. Man, our quarterback room is nasty. Somebody gonna have to transfer out that quarterback room. One of them leaving, y'all. Whoever lose that quarterback conversation is probably gonna end up leaving. Not this year, right now they all buddy buddy. But next season, not the year after next, somebody transferring out. They they, they they both too good. You know, I don't know how he did it. He did this in 10 days, y'all. Good lord, our quarterbacks are gonna be good, man. Don't think we're gonna end up keeping both. I don't see that happen. I don't see us ha keeping both of these quarterbacks. I'm sorry. I, it's unlikely to me. Thanks, Gator. Oh, thanks, Gator. Hey, you be sure you be sharing on Twitter. Thanks, man. Honestly, Blackman is perfect for this pro style. I believe the OC gonna get the best out of him. Oh. Ah. I think Purdy might start later in the year, but not at the beginning. Maybe. I actually think Norville offense will fit Blackman. Oh God. Jared Jackson wasn't a star at Louisville. He needs to work on some moves. He'll be anyway. Hey, he, he might he might be a better fit for us though. And maybe we got better coaches that'll get more out of him. So we don't know. Mississippi State linebacker coaches number one get ESPN says. Wow. Hell no. Beat says Purdy being better than Lawrence remains to be seen. I never said he was better than Trevor Lawrence. Ain't no way in hell he better than Lawrence right now. But two years from now. Look at his frame. He got a Tim Tebow frame. He will run you over. You can't this. You can't shoot straight tackle Purdy. He will run you the hell over. Don't be trying to arm tackle him. It's not gonna work. And he got a cannon. Too fast too. Don't forget about. I don't know what that is. Both going to state. I don't know, Kendrick. Maybe the first year. Yes, the linebackers coach is on the rise. Tate is quarterback. Trans Travis transferring. I don't know. Last it'll be up to Novell. Last night, Jake and Cheap Lick. I watched that do running back highlights. He is lit. Oh yeah, I seen Tor Philly. I seen him. No black man, please. Man, I, I'm, I'm with you, anonymous guy. No black man. No black man. Stay in your lane. No blood in my veins like Nova Kane. Never change. It's a turn tally thing. Chitty chitty bang bang. Hit that like button, folks. This is Turn Tally, number one war daddy in the noble blooded goddamn fan universe. Got the war mamas with me up in here. Turn Tally, Hardwick, Simmel, Tribe Nation. They all gets together, gets the breathing. <gasps> now let's get into this information. It's goddamn easy. Let's go. Where we at? Mike Novell will give Jordan Travis a chance to compete for the job. Yeah, of course. Everybody going to compete. 
Chubba go, yeah, right, right. Putting in Chubba can be special. He can be special. Can't wait for the spring game. Marvin has one more year, but he's leaving early. Yeah, he should. Cooper's a senior, isn't he? Cooper? No, he's a uh. You mean Robert Cooper? He like a he like a sophomore. Cooper. If you talk about Robert Cooper on defensive line, no, nah, he's like a sophomore. He young. He a baby. Purdy is the next Tebow with a better arm. Yep. I agree. I agree. He's a Tebow clone with a better arm. Right. Somebody needs to slip chip chub a playbook. We need to, yeah, I want him on the field today. I want Chubb on the field today. But we haven't seen a we haven't had a quarterback this high since Jameis Winston. Uh, that yeah, spring ain't gonna be lit, y'all. You're right. Cooper will be a junior. Yeah, he's a baby. Yeah, Cooper. Yeah, he's a sophomore. Yeah, Cooper a sophomore. He's a baby. Big baby. All right, let's go. Oh, linebackers. This one, I'm keeping an eye on linebackers, offensive line, and kind of defensive ends. I say we lacking. I say we lacking right now. Not really lacking. We in a good spot. At running back, we need some running backs. Definitely need running backs. At least two more. Uh, defensive tackles, we need about two or three more. And uh, linebackers. So those three spots I'm looking at. Norvell got to get that get that fixed up. Linebackers, we got a lot of talent thanks to Willie Tigers recruiting prowess last season. Uh, now we got we, we, we're able to keep Stephen Dix Jr. We lost Kashawn Green, but whatever. The Gators, the Gators didn't get him. I forgot where he went. Uh, and McCluster. Oh, Kashawn Green got hurt. Damn. We should have stayed in 4-3 to begin with. Right. Steven Dix Jr. will be definitely playing at linebacker as a freshman. Wow, he that good, huh? What's up, Rackets? You in the building? I'm so glad we're running 4-3 like the old days. O-line might be better, right? Yeah. We tag it 3-4. Dix is good. Okay, Stephen Dix and McCluster. Um, now, with linebacker, we're pretty good, man. We got a lot of dudes that's, like, good. This was too young last season. See, that's what Willie was. I, I'm sorry I'm breaking his name up, but I have to at this juncture. But that's what he was talking about. He said, y'all got some good dudes that I recruited. Y'all going to be fine next Y'all going to be better next year. <laughs> he know he recruited. Uh, he read shit. That guy's a monster. Nebraska. Nebraska got Keisha. Keisha agree. Wow. Um, and Nebraska hit me up. They happy about that. I'm like, uh, okay, whatever. Amari Gator would be special. Yeah, Amari Gator. Right? So we pretty good. We pretty good at linebacker now. We ain't been good at linebacker for years since 2014, kind of. We get some we got quality in this class, y'all. Quality. And Norvell don't give a damn about just putting bodies in to move our ranking up or to get bodies down. He said, I'm not looking for bodies. I'm looking for people that's going to push positions and, and, and things and, and address our needs, right? So even so, don't even fret. Even if we don't finish, like, top 10, who cares? If we got quality players, who cares? I remember one class, Jimbo Fisher. I remember one class, Jimbo Fisher had... He had, like, I think it was the year he got Jameis or the year after. He only recruited, like, I think it was a small class of, like, 12 or 13, but it all was blue chips. And they had us ranked, like, at, I think, like, at 11. And they were all, always, like, five stars, four stars. I think, I think Jameis was in that class. And we was, like, number 11. That class was fire. It was one of them classes. Uh... Nebraska did really good with Florida kids, probably because of their coach. Uh, you, Glenda Loach going to be good at red, red shirt. Yeah. Uh, Gannon McCray, good starters next year, right? Yeah, if a player can play, let him play, right? Yeah, you should have red shirt the good kids. Uh, let's see. All right, and we got a punter from Australia. I'm currently living in Australia. And yes, Australia got the best kickers. <laughs> you can't go wrong with an Australian kicker, man. And, uh... That's a smart pickup. That's a smart pickup by uh, Norvell. You can't go wrong with a with a Australian Australian kicker. That's all they do out here. 
Yeah, we, Brooks gone. They could allow Brooks. He, uh, yeah, he ain't gonna play. All right. So Morvin Joseph went to Tennessee. Uh, Jalen Mike Knighton went to Miami. Malachi Whiteman still up in the air. Uh, and Keyshawn Green went to Nebraska. So that's a that's a good salvage, y'all. Kicker's bigger than most linebackers. Yeah, he's gonna be good. All right. Let's talk coaching hires. Hit that like button, baby. Wait until they get a load of me. You ain't never seen it done like this, you bitch. Hit that like button, folks. Let's talk coaches. Mike Norvell moving real fast. Yeah, he bringing his coaches in. Those recruits from Memphis. You trade Wyman. Hey, I'm not worried about Wyman. All right. We got an offensive assistant from TCU. What's his name, y'all? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't put his name down. Who's TCU offensive assistant? Maybe I'll just look it up. I forgot his name. I should've done my homework better, I know. Uh, what's his name? Thompson? Okay, Thompson. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Gio, and uh, putting in Chris Thompson. All right. Office of assistant. So what his what's his job gonna be, y'all? Cause I, I I'm 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 being sincere when I ask this. Cause he's not the office of coordinator. So what's his job? Is it like just to put everything together with the offensive line? Cause this this coaching this coaching staff the way Norvell doing things this is this is new for me. Right? Oh tight end tight end coach. Okay tight ends. Oh okay. Yeah, tight ends are important in his offense. See, he do he got a whole different Norvell got a whole different style I've ever seen. Okay, O line, tight ends. But he's an assistant. What's up, Nose 27? Nose 27 Blackman. <laughs> Alright. We done on that. So basically he's gonna be an O-line tight ends. Yeah, a coordinator. Go home, Lynn, Miami. <laughs> What happened? Go home, Lynn. Oh, Lynn. <laughs> All right. Where we at? All right. Kenny Dillingham. Office of coordinator. Yeah, we gonna get to that uh, putting in. Yeah, he has small details. He is. He is. I know that, Kendrick. I'm learning football watching him. Kenny Dillingham. All right. We got Kenny Dillingham, office of coordinator. He gonna get us in some good recruits. Um, I don't know about offensive linemen. I don't know. Kenny Dillingham will get us some good dudes in here, though. We got Adam Fuller, defensive coordinator. Hopefully, Adam Fuller puts everybody in natural positions. I'm going to be happy. As soon as I see Woody, uh, Woodby, as soon as I see Woodby at play at his proper position, and I see dudes where they, where they normally be at, corners, whatever, whatever, um, I'm going to be happy with Adam Fuller. Hopefully put people in a natural position on defense. Did y'all hear that Coach Lovett is with Willie Taggart? No, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> they, they work well together. I think they keep Telly Lockett for it, running backs coach. I don't know. Oh, Shamyon, what's up, man? I was at 80 I was at eighty before you got here, 80-something. It went up to about 90 at one point. Coach from Charlotte is a new offensive line coach. I'm about I'm about I'm about about nine subscribers away from a thousand. Uh, Sham y'all, run tell that. <laughs> coach from Charlotte is a new offensive line coach. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I ain't want to put. I don't know if he because some people want to remain an anonymous, but I want to give a shout out to Michael Ellis for um giving a donation to the channel, man. I, I really appreciate that, man. I appreciate that because I do work hard and I'm glad that somebody else recognizes that. So everybody give a shout out to Michael Ellis, man. Thanks for that, man. Need to keep Telly Lockett for recruiting. Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, we got Dugan's at wide receiver coach. That was a big for that was, that was a big everybody know about that. That's a good start. Uh good for good for recruiting. This is my opinion. Blackman would be a great quarterback if he had a better offensive line. Man, uh, I don't know. I don't know. As big as he is on special teams, I could place the ball. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. 
<laughs> All right, y'all. My name is Turk Tattles with the goddamn Moses. We up in here. It's lit. We turn. It's a little. I think sixty people in here. Yeah, black men have plenty of chances. All right. Special teams coach. Who the special teams coach, y'all? Who the special teams coach, y'all? I forgot his name. We just got him yesterday, I think. Uh, let's see. What's his name, y'all? He from, um, I forgot where he was from. What's his name? Pachu Pachucas? Oh, yeah, I was, uh, I live in Melbourne. But I know you, the, the part you probably went to was probably Perth. Yeah, Perth, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where, I met, that's, where I met, that's where I met my wife at. She gonna, she gonna be on here live next week with me uh, to celebrate our thousand subscribers to the channel. She gonna be on here live with me and my kids. So everybody tune in next week. We gonna have a thousand subscriber celebration. My wife and kids gonna be right here next to me, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna have to adjust this camera so we can get a wide vision of us all. That's gonna be hell. That's gonna be hell watching my kids talking to y'all. But hey, I'm gonna have balloons. Gonna be a party. He may destroy everything. My, my, my littles will may destroy everything in sight. But hey, we in here. I must admit, I think I was wrong about Norvell. I now think he's great for our program. Hope all is well, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. I, I'm with you, too, on that one. Plenty of chances with, with O-line. <laughs> all right. So he's from Nebraska. Anybody know any history on this Pachucas? A Pachelos? I don't know anything about him. I hope he can coach special teams. I hope he can coach special teams, y'all. Because we got we got the worst coaches. Thanks, Christian! Another subscriber close to the to the goal, baby. Um So we got uh what anybody know anything about Pacheas? Anybody know anything about Pacheas? Um, I don't know. Special teams coach. He'll be fine. You think, Kendrick? Okay. I ain't too worried. Special teams is important. We lost a lot of games because of special teams this year. Uh, about Blackman, but he still needs major development. To his credit, he could never have a quarterback coach to develop him. Yeah, Jimbo would have been that guy for him. Jimbo would have helped him out a lot. All right, let's go. All right, this is this is this is a coach I'm I'm excited about, and y'all probably are too. Uh, Marvin, linebacker coach. He built like a linebacker too. And he played linebacker for Mississippi State. SEC coach. Can't be bad. He definitely improves teams he goes to. Norvell's big on special teams. Yeah, he is. Blackman went ice cards and starting on against Boise State and everyone else. Yeah, he, he lost his confidence. Thanks, Alazar. New subscriber. Uh, knows 20, 27 Blackman. All right, now. Marvin, linebacker coach Marvin, I'm excited about him. I think he gonna, he's an SEC coach. Can't go wrong with that. Mississippi State didn't, didn't want him to go. Oh, defensive ends too. Okay. Smart Vanderbilt graduate linebacker coach. Yeah, he'll be he, he big too. You see the pipes on it. You see the pipes on him, Marvin. But yeah, bro, I, I feel good about that pickup. Thanks, David. Right now. How many, how many channels you got? <laughs> All right, O-line coach. Oh, we just got an O-line coach, what, yesterday? From Charlotte, Alex Atkins. Now, some people got upset about this. Why are people upset? Because he's from Charlotte. You got you, you to gotta get an up-and-coming. You can't just get, like, a dude that's, like, doing big things. You can't afford that. So what y'all think about Alex Atkins? Some people was crying. Some Florida State fans, of course, was crying about this because he's from Charlotte. Hit that like button, folks. So what y'all think about that coach? Alex Atkins. <laughs> Alex Atkins, y'all. Alex Atkins. Any of y'all know anything about this coach? Or you don't? Probably nobody do. Seems very intelligent. You watch a seminar. I don't know anything about this guy. You like it putting in? 
So, okay, I'll move on. I read his bio. I like for James to stay for death. Y'all agree? Uh, I don't know. I trust Norvell. That's what I wanted to start. Yeah, I trust Norvell. Atkins is going to be great. Due to prove Charlotte to the O line a crazy amount. Look at the numbers before and after. So let's see. I do. I trust Norvell. I really do trust him now. All right. It's gonna be. Hey, it's gonna be a culture shock to these players. I know Norvell's put on a good front. He's a salesman, right? Coach Norvell's a good salesman. And he says the right things. He's real, right? <laughs> Right? But the thing is, it's going to be some transfers. It's going to be some dudes throwing up on the field. They ain't used to this kind of work. It's going to be some softies getting up out of here. I already know. Now, let's see. All right, now, who's the seniors that's leaving? Who's the seniors that's leaving this, this year? Anybody know the seniors? Cause I know, I know, Dante is Jackson gone. Yeah, he's a he's a junior, Sandra. They're going to put in that work, but in, don't think he played games. They're going to put in that work. Oh yeah, Kendrick. Good recruiters and coaches, right? We're gonna have some things to open up. We're gonna have some things to open up in recruiting after this. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till the wait till the dudes we get coming up. We gonna flip some dudes too. We gonna get a lot of flips, y'all. We gonna get a lot of flips, y'all. Thanks, Christian. <laughs> we gonna get a lot of flips. All right. Um, well, Matt. Yeah. Who the who the seniors? So Jackson, Taylor, Gavin. Oh God, they ain't done nothing. And Bello, great God. <laughs> I see why you said thank God, Bello. Good God, dog. Uh, you gotta go. <laughs> Jackson. Taylor, I think I think that's a I think is that the end of the cancer? I think that's the last of the cancer, y'all. Oh, DJ Matthews. Hey, D, is DJ Matthews a senior? I hope so. Somebody tell me if DJ DJ Matthews a senior. Is it, thanks, Christian. Is D, DJ Matthews a senior? Man, the boy's about to be signed. His coach is going to get him right, right. A junior, okay. Matthews, that's good. Okay, I ain't gonna be upset. Okay, I ain't gonna be upset with Matt. I, I've gave, I've given DJ Matthews so many chances, man. I'm, I'm just, I, I'm losing hope in Matthews, y'all. That's just me personally. Every year, I'm like, okay, this is it, this is it. But then his attitude, he pouts. He don't run. He still have a problem running routes. He mopes if he's not getting the ball thrown his way. And then against Miami, he I'm like, damn, dude, he playing Miami. Like, he, he played a hell of a game, like a, a hell of a uh, special teams punt return game. He pretty much almost beat Miami by himself with the punt returns uh, two years ago. But let's see, I'm like, damn, dog. He's got a bad demeanor. Right, right, a horrible demeanor. He mopes. He, he quits. He could flourish in the system. If not, we have plenty. Yeah, yeah. Now, now DJ Matthews, DA y'all, DJ Matthews ain't the man no more. That wide receiver room is full. You can't come out there looking pretty with your, with your scarf on, talking about some what you gonna do and do nothing. No, you gotta put in work. Now nah, you gotta you gotta compete. In this Norvell system, you competing. I hope them butt boosters stay out of Norvell's way and let the man do the job they hired him for. They need to give him some more money and drop some more bags. Or he get run off. Yo, let's let's go. I am drunk and fabulous. Go nose. That's right, Marcus. Get it cracking. Cam Sessions. Matthews has a chance still. He will finally get coached. I don't know, man. He said, of course he still got a chance. He's still in the game. So he playing. You playing on that field. You playing in practice. You still you you gonna have a chance. But my thing is, is he gonna change his attitude though? It's a cancer. We even have George Travis from Louisville. I'm to say. Boosters won't be an issue for Norvell. No, I don't think so either, Kendrick. Sandra says, Coach Mike, know they love him, right? Coach Mike Norvell says he don't care about stars. He wants players that's hungry. Right. That's old school Florida State, baby. You, take, you get them two stars and them, them, uh, them, them uncrushed diamonds. What's up, Christian? Thanks, Christian. All right. So, Blackman got going to transfer. Believe that trouble going to start. 
Maybe. 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 My name is Tara Tally, the host is with the goddamn Moses. I got it lit up in here. We got a full house. It's going well. You know what I'm saying? Hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. I got some stuff coming for you. I got some new videos coming up soon. They gonna make it laugh. Got some skits. Got some sports highlights. Turf Tally highlights. We got merchandise. It's gonna be here before the next season, definitely. It'll be coming soon, I promise you. I've been promising for the longest, but it will be here before next season. We just getting our designs in place. We're getting the shirts ready to design up. Right? That's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna unleash the t-shirt so you can have some apparel for next season. Uh, what else? I'm getting the most sports. I'm gonna be doing baseball, softball. Once that gets started up, I ain't gonna stop. It's gonna be year round. You know how everybody stopped when the football season over with? All the all the college footballs is go. I'm not gonna stop. I can go on because I got talent. I can make it laugh. I got a presence, right? I ain't just sports. I can sell myself. Let's go. Uh. Oh, DJ got to be used right. They got to use him like Percy Harvin. DJ got to fix his attitude first. Boosters need to man up and give them the football facility. Nebraska got a 150 mil meter to facility in Nebraska. Damn. And they're being stingy about $60 million facility. Kendrick, if he can do what he did at Memphis, I hope he does stay. To me, it's super scary what Terry can do in this system. What you think? Yeah, he gonna. I think he going to stay. I think he would have declared by now. I think Terry going to stay, y'all. That's that's good. That's great. Wow. If he stay, we go. Oh my God. We're gonna be we're gonna be held on that field. I'm hearing uh, Bill and them Gators are angry about not getting Smith. Oh, we gonna talk about that right now. I said we made a minimum of eight games next season. Hockey and volleyball. <laughs> no, probably not. Norvell is going to run off all the non-believers. What's up with wide receiver Malachi? Why didn't he already sign? I think, well, I heard it could be Graves. I heard, I think, personally, I think it's that he just want to wait till February. Everybody ain't got an early sign. He still say he committed to Florida St State, so just believe him till he don't. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Our, our receiver room is full anyway. I think it's more of a bigger deal for the basketball program if he don't sign. Football, we good, y'all. We good at receiver. Wide receiver is not what we need. <laughs> That's the last of our needs. And maybe he looking at that like, damn, it's that wide receiver room too full of talent. It might push him away if he don't want to compete. If he don't want to compete, we don't want to, right? Tate Rodham make one six A quarterback of the year. It's going to be a battle for the starting job. That's what you want. You want a battle in that quarterback room. Iron sharpens iron. Uh... Michael Ellis, turn talent highlights, cheap liquor. He don't get no vote better than this. You right, Michael. It's good for him if he stays. Terry still needs some more coaching, right? All right. Where we at? Okay. Let's talk about the Florida Gators. I don't even give a damn. I'm going to get the information from y'all. I don't really look into the Florida Gators uh, classes, but I'm going to get it from y'all. Turn talent holdings. Now, I can tell the Florida Gators are disappointed. ESPN, they're not getting good articles on the Florida Gators. They all say the Florida Gators failed. The Florida Gators are bumping, they're not even bumping their chest. They're trying to when you, I can't see them, but we still number nine class, right? But I know it's a lot of disappointment days. Um, why are they disappointed, y'all? Why is the Florida class a disappointment? I, I heard it's because they didn't land the big fish like the Alabamas, Clemsons, and Georgias all do. It's like they, they still got like a certain level because Dan Mullen can't recruit. Is that what it is? Why are the Gators mad and upset with us that we happy? Why they, why they, uh, why they mad? What happened with their class? Anybody know? Let me know something. Let me know something, baby. I keep it cracking like a watermelon, baby. Super Cadillac, fat booty, turn tally on doshas. Let me know something, y'all. Nobody wants to be in that swamp. Yeah, but it's got to be more than that. It's got to be a reason. It's got to be a reason. We need for Nobel... 
to bring the pain when spring transfer starts because these players need a coach that will make them earn the right to wear that. Yeah, they, that's going to happen. I ain't worried about that, sir, if I... Huh? Anybody got a re why they mad like that? Anybody know? I mean, the coach's personality sucks. Yeah. He's a, he's a goofy dude, man. Goofy dude. Cause they swamp turds. <laughs> can't no can't win nobody over. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a cancer. <laughs> they must. They mad cause we didn't keep Willie. And hey, they mad for a lot of. They they mad for a lot of reasons. Now yellow two six five. Y'all mind me hurry. It's not Miami Hurricanes class. I don't know when we gonna do this, but there's nothing else to talk about. The Miami Hurricane class. From what I've heard, y'all ain't too high on y'all class either. Y'all number, oh no, the game is number six, I think. The uh, Hurricanes number nine. Now, the Hurricanes do have Jalen Knighton from us. It's not really a flip because it's a decommit, right, to the Hurricanes. Now, but other than Jalen Knighton, their class, uh, <laughs> damn mother they leave it. He ain't leaving for those uh, Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> What's up, Pat? That's a rumor. He ain't going to those Dallas Cowboys. Man, Dallas ain't hiring no damn money. <laughs> Canes are hot trash. Hey, the Canes class, I don't know. I haven't heard too many great things about their class, man. Like, they got... I'm going to get subscribers. Thanks, y'all. I probably got a thousand subscribers right now. But anyway, tell Yella, where you at, Yella? I know it's Miami Hurricane fans in here. Tell me about your class, man. You see the hill spot on us? Tell us some of y'all y'all stuff. The Miami Hurricanes, man, I don't know. Like, it looks like it's the same old thing. Like, they're going to get some decommits. I don't see their class. Like, number nine is, is, is nothing to sleep on. But I'm like, is it more because they got 25? Because they got like 25. They finished, their class already finished. Miami Hurricanes do that a lot. They'll just fill up. And like, oh, we top. And then you see the players. They don't even be like really game changers. Cowboys don't want no damn mullet. <laughs> yeah, Jalen Jalen Knight going to regret that. He going to regret going to Miami, y'all. <laughs> he going to regret that, y'all. He digs like he gonna be a line out there. That's what I'm talking about. We pretty happy we only lost Romello Height to Auburn. Louis, okay. Y'all pretty happy. But y'all ain't excited like us. Y'all pretty happy. Because you gotta remember, we got a new coach. We got new coaches that are good coming in. Some from the SEC. So we got a lot of optimism in our fan base. Y'all still got, y'all wanna fire Dan Enos. He's still there. Y'all really not happy with uh, Manny Diaz. Only reason Manny Diaz has still got a little bit of love from the Miami fans is cause they beat Florida State. That's the only reason. But he beat like a handicapped Florida State. You know what I'm saying? But that's the only thing he got on his resume. Louisville has turned to FSU training camp. Hurricanes are spying on us. Yeah, they are. Not they happy with their coaching. No. The Miami Hurricanes ain't happy with their coaching, y'all. That's what it is. Terrible, terrible. Like all his last season. He gonna wish he stayed in talent. You're right. Full of trash. DJ ain't near, ain't near as fast as Harvard. That's going to be awesome. Congrats. Turn, turn on your 1,000 subscribers. Thanks, man. Thanks, Gator Hater. Oh, no. Wife and kids next week, y'all. Next week. Next week. I'm gonna throw a celebration next week, Sandra. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have everything set up. I'm gonna have balloons and everything. It ain't set up right. I figured I was gonna hit a thousand a day from this live stream, but I wanted to do it. You know, I want to have every. I'm, a, I'm like that. I want to have everything in place. I'm kind of a, a perfectionist. Uh, like just like with my videos, like I'm getting better and better. Each video, I'm getting better and better. Like with my skits and everything, I'm just like that. I like to slowly just progress. We got 18 commitments. Yeah. We need better coaching. We're going to give Manny another year. <laughs> Manny in trouble, man. Manny on a chopping block. I know. Tell Purdy about to open things up. I'll post a new coaching staff on your Facebook page. Thanks, Sandra. 
Sandra be helping me out, y'all. I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to start paying Sandra. Go, go on, you do, Sandra, you're doing too much. I can't afford you. Not yet. I'm gonna have to start paying her. But thank you, appreciate your help so much, Sandra. I like our new coaches in Tallahassee, honestly. I left for the Seminoles. I left for the Seminoles, got a new stadium one day. <laughs> Wish Willie would have been better. Yeah, Eno's trash. I'm lit by the nose and where they are going. We don't need guys that ain't smart. That's been a problem. We need brains. Yeah. We need we need, we need more brains than we need blue chips. I'll tell you that. Manny Diaz is trash and the whole team is trash. Manny Diaz ain't good, y'all. He ain't a good coach. I think he recruit he recruiting better than uh the last coach did. So that's if that's anything to give him. He's a better recruiter, I think. Uh grade's been a big problem, right? Intelligent discipline is what we need. Nobody are only hiring experienced coaches. I like it. Thanks, Pat. 1984. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely over a thousand right now. I know. Uh, not spying a case fan, but support Turk. Thanks, Yellow Two Six Five. What's up, sir? What's okay? What's this music at? I don't know. I, I don't know about Manny. I don't think he's the guy. But he's in a bad situation. Uh, I think the Seminoles get Manny Diaz fired next year. I, Manny, Manny's not a bad coach. I don't think he's a national championship coach. But I don't think he's a bad coach. Like I'm not just going to say we're going to beat the Hurricane. I think Manny can, Manny can put stuff. He's a good defensive mind. If anything. He should be a defensive coordinator. I think he could be a defensive coordinator anywhere. I think he's a good defensive mind. But sometimes they don't translate to good head coaches. And sometimes offensive minds don't translate good to head coaches. But, it, but it's the staff that Norvell putting together, oh my God. And Norvell can get good coaches on the cheap because he knows, he knows how to find them. He knows a lot of people. I can't wait to see your wife and your kids bet. Beautiful. Thanks, Carla. Yeah, we gonna, they're going to be on next week. Just be here next week. Same time. My kids will be on here. I don't know how long. They, 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 they love doing this. They love it. Thanks. Because they got out recruited by a guy who only had been on the job for 10 days. Yeah, that's crazy. They did get out recruited. They sure did. Hurricane. Dog, the quarterbacks we got. The Miami and Florida ain't got no quarterbacks like we got, y'all. Quarterbacks, quarterbacks is everything. If you got a smart quarterback with all the measurements and tools, I don't give a... You could, you could be out of... Look what, look what uh, Mississippi State... Was it Mississippi State? No, Mississippi. Look what Mississippi did to Alabama. With that, with that quarterback. Alabama had all had all the talent over, over Mississippi. But that court, look at the quarterback. This, they gashed them. It, a quarterback could change everything. Manny was a, a lazy hire. Hey, hey, Yella, I think Manny was an emergency hire. Because they was going to lose the whole class. And I think they ended up dead losing the class. Manny, Manny was an emergency hire because what's his face left abruptly? Rick, he just retired or something. He just said, screw it. He says, <laughs> Mick Rick just said, screw Miami. God dang, man. It's like that. You just going to quit? We had a coach quit on us, so we know how that feels. But he's a good DC. He's a really good DC. He might, he's really the DC now. <laughs> he stepped in on the Miami defensive coordinator, micromanaging the hell out of him. He's a defensive coordinator now and a head coach. Oh, he said we'll win 10 straight on Miami. I hope Manny Diaz never gets fired. <laughs> hey, what up, Tara War Mama? Hey, Manny Diaz might turn out to be a good coach, y'all, if he get the right coordinators around him. He could coach defense. He just need he need a better offensive coordinator. But yeah, I, as long as it, I'm happy with they keep Enos. And that quarterback room ain't that good. Look at that quarterbacks. Hey, Chubba Purdy, I don't know about Rotomaker yet, but Chubba Purdy right now is better than any quarterback in Florida. Trask, uh, who the other dude? Who the, uh, Felipe Franks, Emory Jones, ew. We, we, we try to recruit him out of desperation. Ew, I'm glad we didn't get Emory Jones. Uh, who Miami got? Jerry Williams, yeah, average. Who the other dude? Average. Average quarterbacks, man. We got a, we got a, we got a, a number six dual threat in his first ten days. 
hit that like subscribe button, baby. What's up, Tara? We in the building. War Mama. Tara McNally in the building. Yeah, you need to keep Diaz and Enos forever. Sinner, let's rise up together, right, Carla? Rise up. Hey, Tara, I'm going to have my family on next week. We had a thousand subscribers. Make sure you hit next week. You see us all. See my kids, see my wife, right? Yeah, DJ, DJ a junior. Rick. Rick didn't want fire to fire certain coaches, so he stepped down. Oh. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, Rick retained retired because he didn't want to fire his son. Plus, he didn't want to hire an OC. Wow. Manny Diaz. I think Rick, I think Rick was a better coach, but it just didn't work out. Manny Diaz was already at Temple unpacking his bag. He never should have been hired. <laughs> Manny want to know against y'all? <laughs> Yellow saying. <laughs> Putting in Perry and Martell. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, Martell. Martell's so awful. Good God. I think we made the right hire. We just need three good old linemen and two defensive tackles. We're going to be good, y'all. You know why? Because I think we're going to get some high school kids. Y'all going to be like, wow, this kid's a, bl a, a blue chip. Offensive lineman. Blue chip. We well, gotta remember, we just got the TCU coach in yesterday. Oh, he about to, you know he about to flip some kids. Nah, I'll tell you, this coach, this class is gonna be one of the best classes we've had in years. It probably be ranked number 14. Don't get caught up in the hype. Don't get caught up in the rankings. Miami probably gonna be at number 10, 11. Gators probably finish at seven, around there. They'll be top 10. Miami probably be close to top 10, 10, 11. We'll probably be 14, 15. But, but look at the names we gonna have in that class though. Um, this is probably the best class we gonna, man. I'm telling you. No blood raw. Let's get it. I like Chubb, but do not sleep on Rotomaker though. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be, hey, Rotomaker gonna have to be like Joe Burrow. If he gonna start over Chubba, if they, if they equal, if they equal in any way, Chubba's gonna start. If they equal, like as far as throwing, reading defense, making the right, right, uh, right reads, they both smart. They both, both of they, both of their daddies are coaches. They are coaches' sons, so both of them know the game. So if if Rota Maker make, if they throw the same, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna be harder for Rota Maker. He gonna have to be way better thrower because the way Purdy can run, you can't overlook that uh, athletic ability. Like, I might have to put Purdy in on package. Even if Rota make a start, I might have to put uh, Purdy in some uh, package package positions where he's running the ball. I think Mike going to get him Juco running back. Yeah, for this season, probably. Hello, Tim. Sandra says the family next week. Yeah, you looking forward to that? I got to say this. My name is pronounced Tira. Oh, okay. That's gonna be hard to remember with your name spelled like that. That's gonna give me, I bet you you gave the teachers at school headaches the first day of school. T Tara? <laughs> Tara, Tara, Tara. Oh, Tara. Okay, good Lord. Tara, I gotta remember that. Tara. Uh. Yeah, family next week. Rudder Maker may have to add weight. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He might red shirt. He's about 30 pounds. He gonna put that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He gonna have to. He might have to red shirt. Give Norvell a full year recruiting. If he, if he's this impressive, intense recruiting, FSU might be top five. Yeah, FSU looking at a top five class next season. We just gotta win. If we win seven games, if we just get, get over five, eight. If we just get over 500 top five recruiting class. Look at the staff. Look at the staff, y'all. If we just get, if we just get one, if we get seven wins, y'all, we're going to out-recruit. You know we're going to out-recruit Dan Mullen. We might, we, we can have a losing record and out-recruit. Coach Taggart had a five and seven record and out-recruited Dan Mullen. Mullen won 10 games and could not recruit us. So he ain't got to worry about Florida. I think our, big, I think our, our biggest uh, competition for us recruiting probably be uh, not even Miami. 
Some Miami, some because of the Miami area. We but we got pipelines. I think it's gonna be more so like Clemson, Georgia, Bama. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna give us problems. It ain't gonna be Florida Gators. We all know that. Thanks for that, Sandra. What's up? Drip says, I think we start Purdy and Rodan Maker in three years. Then Chad, oh yeah, Chad Muscow. We still, we still can get that land that kid. Hopefully he recruit. Hopefully, hopefully he committed to Florida State and not Willie Taggart. Chad Muscow. I forgot about that kid. Oh my God. Florida so got so much talent. Man, uh, Norvell must be licking his chops. Norvell, Norvell probably walk into it like this. Hey, this kid's a five star. You might want to check out in Florida. He'd be like, okay, let me see. Eh, I don't like what I'm seeing. I like that two star right there though. Give me him. Man, Norvell is gonna be a goddamn beast. You may not see it on a recruit. You may not see it on a recruiting numbers ranking, but you gonna see it on that goddamn field though. You gonna see them wins on that goddamn field though. Forget recruiting rankings. I'm telling you. That's, exact, that's exactly how he gonna do it. He, he gonna evaluate with his eyes. He gonna be looking at stars. That's what, Jim, that's what Jimbo Fisher did. He gonna evaluate the kid. Interview the kid. Find out how his mind works. Does he know? Is he smart? Is he hungry? That's how he gonna do it. Oh, man, Novell is gonna be a monster. He gonna be a problem. Cause he gonna get kids, people overlooking. He had to, he should be a, he's a, he's a master at that. He had to do it in Memphis. He had to do more with less. And he did it. Wow. Uh, where we at? Oh, good night, Sandra. Thanks for all the help. Thank you, Sandra. Thanks, Donald. Chad Muscat, Georgia. Oh, yeah, Georgia. Okay, I always do that. I always forget that. But he likes Florida State. Georgia right up. Georgia right just, just, just up north. He might as well call Georgia Florida. Some of my best friends growing up was from Georgia. Georgia's like Florida. We the same people. Kid just said exactly, no school in Florida will not beat us in recruiting. No, nope. nobody beating us in recruiting, y'all. No, nope, not gonna happen. Look at what he did his first year in 10 days. Not gonna happen, y'all. Florida State, I gotta find a better way to put this Florida State uh, flag up. Uh, my little ghetto rig. Good night, Sandra. All right, where we at? Yeah, Josh Griffiths didn't like um, Josh Griffiths didn't like um, Dan Mullen, y'all. He called him phony. He called him phony. He called Dan Mullen phony. That's why he like flipped from us to go to, to Louisville. Like he didn't want it. He went from Florida. Like nah, Dan Mullen's a geek. Went to Florida State, and then we, we didn't have a coach, so he's gonna go to Louisville. But we got a, he wanted to come to Florida State the whole time. Uh, let's go. Where we at? Talk a little basketball. The basket out them bags. Yeah, let's say. <laughs> yeah, it sound that way. It seemed that way. FSU basketball beat USF 66 to 60. My next video, I will be getting into that, getting some more basketball. We number 19 in the country. The woman, the woman ballers, the woman basketball, they killing it right now. 11 and 0, number 8 in the country. I'm like, huh, they might can win something this year. Them girls balling. A woman basketball team, 11 and 0, number 8. They get a real test next week, I believe, against Texas A&M. Who's number 7. But yeah, basketball program looking real good. I ain't going to stay too much on basketball. I know y'all want to talk about football. But the basketball season, we doing real good. I want to touch on everything. Uh, but yeah, y'all, what y'all want to talk about? Novell bringing a good recruiter FSU will lock the state of Florida and Georgia, Tennessee, Mississippi, Texas. Yeah, but but we got hey, but we got pipelines. We got pipelines to uh, 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 Arizona, North Dakota. We got pipelines out there now. Texas. We offensive line coach. Texas uh, from Texas uh, TCU. We looking scary, y'all. It's a lot of dudes we we can get now. Look at it. We got forget Florida. We got. We ain't got to compete against these. Uh, we ain't got to compete against. Who we got to compete against against Arizona to get players? They coming. Uh, Stanford. That opened up. Imagine the offensive lineman we can get out of Stanford, y'all. Oh my God. They they worst lineman will be our best lineman. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. 
The Stanford Cardinals' worst offensive lineman that they transferred out. They will be our best day one. So we can get Stanford, Arizona, North, North Dakota, Texas, all that opening up now. Even that linebackers coach from Mississippi, uh, Mississippi State. It's about to get nasty. Wait till the, we don't. This recruiting cycle ain't over yet. He said with the class, but now he about to fill it up. It's about to get fed. Where we at? Oh, phone died right after you said your family going to be on. Didn't catch window. Oh, uh, Tara, I, I, uh, our family going to be on next week. Next week, uh, celebrating a thousand subscribers. So you're going to see my wife, kids. We're going to have a celebration. My kids probably going to tear my, old, my whole back drop down. Probably going to destroy my place, but it's okay. We're going to have a good time. Y'all get to see the family? Everybody. Because I always wanted this to be kind of a family kind of channel. But I just wanted to sell myself first. Y'all get used to me. And I'm, you're going to see in my videos, I'm going to start putting in more of my family in like stuff. Um, they're too young to be kind of like... They, their, attention, their attention span too short to be sitting, you know, live. So, I'm just going to slowly progress and put a minute. My wife, she's not comfortable on camera, but she will be on here next week. But uh, she, she, she's fine. My wife, my wife's a beautiful lady. She'll be, she'll be fine. Um, what else I going to say? But yeah, I'm going to put my, my, my kids in more uh, and just do it that way. Because I want this to be a family channel anyway. Black man probably somewhere punching the air like Trey. Trey from the boys in the hood. <laughs> black man had Black man had a good run, man. I'm pretty sure he had, you know, he had what three years. He, 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 I'm sure he had a good time, but yeah, I don't see no veil starting black man. Y'all say it because he's nah. I, I just don't. I don't see it. I don't see it. The one thing we're all forgetting is this offensive line. We need a ton of help on the old line. We need about ten. Good linemen to come in. Once we get that old line looking good, the wins will come. I don't think we need 10. We don't need 10. We we gonna get some dudes, man. What we need is tackles. In the interior, we pretty good. We pretty good at guard. Guard's not the problem. And maybe center. It's not really there. Center, we I think we need a center. But guards, we pretty good. It's the tackles. Oh my God. We need tackles. Now we don't need 10. If we get quality ones from the portal, grad transfers, we only need about maybe three or four. We got two high school kids, but they can't, we gotta develop them. But we can we can get like we can get like three to three to four is good. Three to four? Three. I'm happy with three. Three tackles. Guard? I'm not worried about guard. We good at guard. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming together. And with this coach Novell, he's very detail oriented. He gonna get it together. I know he is. He know how much pressure it is to win at Florida State. He know. He ain't stupid now. Uh, I see. Really want more kids from Florida to feel more state pride and stay in state. Hey, Marcus, I think them days are over with. Honestly, my name is Terry Taylor. Hit that like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe button. We had a thousand subscribers a day. Goal accomplished. Only took me about six, seven months. Thank y'all so much, man. Thank you to the Turtali Hornets. We did it, baby. Uh, oh, as far as uh, Florida's pride, that's a thing of the past. We got to win games, and the Florida kids will come. But that Florida pride thing, that's that's done. That's gone. Like, nah, kids leaving the state. <laughs> you got to win games to get the kids. That pride is a thing of the past. Kids leaving early for the NFL, just like basketball. It's a new time. Kids are able to make money now. They can promote themselves. It's a different time. Yeah, we got to have death, but not 10. We don't need 10. We don't need 10. Yeah, we need death, but three or four dudes is death. It's only two spots. You get three or four for tackles, that's good competition. We don't need 10. And the interior is good, too. Interior is good. It's the, out, it's the, it's the tackles. Yeah, we need a good... Yeah, we got, a, we, got a, we got some good coaches coming in, man, for the offensive line. I spell her name Tara. <laughs> Tara. How good is Arizona football? Even five star Killer Ringo left Arizona to play at IMG for better competition. Uh, well, Chubba Purdy from there. Hey, 
There's good players out of Arizona. Look at the quarterback for Arizona State who's going to kick our ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to talk about that upcoming bowl game. Nobody care about that game, do you? Hey, that quarterback at Arizona State, he about to do us. <laughs> that boy a beast. Arizona got good players. What you talking? You in the Arizona State Sun Devils? Are you kidding me? Remember Marshall Falk out there? They got man, they got good football players out there. Talk of that. You go, you go send your Miami Hurricanes and go out there and play Arizona State and see what happened. Man, they would destroy y'all. <laughs> I can't wait to see next year recruitment class top five. Yeah. What up, baby? What's up, January man? Can you say good point? Nobel staff is built on coaches that coach up their players, right? Wouldn't miss it. I'll be there. Thanks, Tara. Black men will transfer after the bowl game. Yeah, I think he will. I know you want to win, Kendrick. We all do. We all itching. I know. I know. We've been losing for three years. He's from California. Oh, uh, yeah, California got some good. Oh, Purdy's from California. Purdy, uh, California got some good-ass quarterbacks. That's what, uh, isn't that what Trevor Lawrence from? Sunshine? Probably is. I agree. Just sucks, though. Okay, Dan Mullen's wife kissed him on the cheek and gave him that damn unidentified lip fuck and she's toting around. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. That like button, baby. My name is Turn Tally, the host with the goddamn most. Got my no bloods in here. Got my Turn Tally hearts. What that is with my mama. Thank y'all for showing up. Thanks for supporting the channel, baby. We had a thousand subscribers. Now, next who's coming up now? Now, I got to do merchandise. I'm going to get the super chat running. So now, y'all can. Because after a while, this board going to be so full. I ain't going to be able to read all the comments like I'm doing right now. So I'm going to have to get a super chat up. Channel's going to be big, baby. It's going to be the. It's going to be the hub of Florida State football, basketball, baseball, baby. And I need all y'all help to give me information that I don't know. That's what the beautiful thing about the social media age, the age of information. Tackles, tackles. Yeah, we need, fa we need, we need tackles, Tara. Facts. We had him, but Willie went with Howell. Oh, the Arizona State guy. Willie tried to get him, though. Willie tried to get him, though. <laughs> to yellow laughing. We had some players that stayed with FSU when things got bad. Uh, they could have left the program, but they did. Those are the players that we need at FSU. Coach Noel will keep those kids in state. Yeah, we need Helton. There's a lot of injured dudes we need, man. They need to stay. There's a lot of dudes that's already in place, man. We, they ain't even touched their potential yet. Like Woodby. And, man, it's a Grant, running back. Uh, Cyrus Fagan, they got hurt. It's a lot of dudes that that haven't even come touch they reach their potential yet because it's young. We need them to stay bad, man. Trevor Lawrence from Georgia. Oh, okay, okay. No Arizona stores. Is from California. Okay, okay. Lawrence from Georgia. Okay. Cook, cook the last player we had that would play in the bowl. Perch. From, oh, Perch from Arizona. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perch from Arizona. That's what I thought. What's up, Mike? Trevor from Georgia, him and Fields. Fields. Okay, Georgia. Okay. But quarterback, hey, I'll take, hey, you know what? I know uh, Jameis Winston from Alabama, but I'll take, a, I'll take a California quarterback before anything else. If he, if he ain't no number one, if he ain't no number one prospect, like top five prospect in Florida, I'll take quarterback. I would, I would take a California. They, they, got, great, they got better quarterbacks. From my from my experience, California got the quarterbacks. So just like y'all say, the offensive linemen in you know in the in, in Nebraska and all that stuff. Yeah, that's true. That's the best. But you can do quarterbacks be in California. January, so get that super chat. Yeah, I'm gonna get the super chat. Thanks, Kendrick. Uh, yeah, Jaden Daniels a beast. Thanks, Kendrick. USC quarterback Kendrick Slavis is from Flagstaff, Arizona, I believe. See. They, get, they got quarterbacks out there. I know, I know, Kendrick. Thanks, man. Howell told Willie he would commit if he recruited only one quarterback. Man, screw Howell. That's a bull. I can't believe Willie let him do that, man. I don't know. I don't get why Willie let that Howell do that. Screw Howell. And then he, and then he backstabbed him. He backstabbed, Howell backstabbed the whole program. Screw him. I can't wait to pop him in the I can't wait to play them and, bop, and, and bust and pop him in the mouth. All up and down the field. Travis Jay would be the best defensive back in the roster. Wow. That's saying a lot because we got a lot of dudes. 
I'm worried about LeBron. Yeah, Kendrick, I said that earlier. I'm worried about Kalon LeBron because he always in trouble, dog. He he suspended. He stay in trouble, smoking weed. And I think he gonna transfer. So we better get three or four backs. I don't see the Kalon LeBron starting. And I don't think it's gonna be a big loss. What has he really done? He won't even really use. I don't think he that good, y'all. I think we got too much carp in the sauce. I don't like how he be dancing behind the line. He don't hit the holes right. He got a lot of uh uh uh. He not a good back, not yet. He got the he got the speed, he got the power and all that stuff, but he ain't he ain't a good back. They don't make you a good back just because you got talent. He like a five star, but he ain't he don't know how to hit holes. He don't know how to run the ball properly. Helton would miss out if he leaves. Yeah, Helton should stay. Helton should stay, y'all. I hope he do. I think Helton. I think Helton. Um, I think Helton committed to Florida State, so I think we good on that. He happy just to be at Florida State. Hit that like, share, subscribe button, baby. Boy, this channel fat, baby. Hit that like button, folks. My name is Turn Tally. You witnessing the greatest, baby. Thank you. It's your first time. Hit that, hit that subscribe button. My name is Turn Tally, baby. I do this every week. Check out my videos. Check out my pedigree. I got library videos, baby. Doing the big things over here. Congratulations on that thousand subscribers. Keep the good work. You talk to tell the truth, good or bad. Thanks, Donald. Look at Mater Dell High School. They have the cream of the crop as far as quarterbacks is concerned. Uh, right, right. Thanks, Jeff. Something is up with that knee. Yeah, it's always been something up with that knee. I still think he got the same kind of. Yeah, you're right. But he still like he got that same kind of bounce to his step. Like he still could cut. But yeah, I s yeah. Yeah, I guarantee next year office will be scary, especially if we have Terry. Yeah. Is that you rapping? Yeah, always. It's all my music. Uh, Nick, too much dancing. Yeah, he danced too much behind the line. He pissed me off. He has no patience. He danced too much. He do. I hope Helton do stay, Kendrick. Norvell will start to cover like Bobby did. I love the recruiting. Yeah, the recruiting hit on every knee, y'all. The recruiting hit on every goddamn knee. Right? Where we at? What else can we talk about up in here? Any new news out of Tally with defensive back coaching? Yeah, 10 days. God dang, he in all the knees. He hasn't even done, he hasn't even, he's nowhere, he's nowhere near finished with his class, y'all. He's not playing around. He's looking for day one starters. <laughs> Goodness gracious. He, he, he already got the hardest part out the way in 10 days. Keeping the class and quarterbacks. Having a, getting a quarterback? If he didn't get a quarterback at this junction, he wouldn't have got no quarterbacks. Not no good ones. Quarterbacks always go early Saturday. Yeah, imagine when he prove himself. Good Lord. Uh, what else? Let's talk defensive and getting the staff. Yeah, he killing it. He killing it with the staff, y'all. That's what I'm saying. This Marvin dude, offensive line coach Thompson, Alex Atkins from Charlotte. Hey, offensive. We gonna have some dudes open up. We gonna flip some people. We gonna flip some people. They got Herm Edwards as a head coach. That should tell you enough. That's a good coach, man. Herm Edwards. That's an NFL coach, man. Yeah. They, Oh, let's talk Arizona State. Hey, you moved his house yet. You're right. Do you like the DN coach? Who's the DN coach? Who's the DN defensive end coach? San Diego State. Yeah, but he's out there in that area. Like in that, like West Coast. San Diego. Yeah, yeah, San Diego State. Yeah, California. That's what I mean. I say Arizona, but I always, yeah. Because people say California can't. Play with Southern players, bull, bull crap. Special teams coach. Oh, okay. I don't know anything about him. Sorry for joining late. Did you touch upon Malachi Whiteman? All right, defensive back coach. I don't know. We'll probably find out in a few days the way Mike Norvell, fast as Mike Norvell, moving. God dang. We'll find out in a few days who the defensive backs coach is. Um, uh, Malachi Whiteman. I think it's more so he just waited out. He already said he wasn't going to sign early day. People freaking out. He said he wasn't going to sign early Saturday. 
Auburn and somebody else is, is in his ear to, trying to flip him. My thing is, we'll see if February come. Our wide receiver room so full right now, it might be pushing him back. And it's not going to hurt our class if Wideman don't sign. We full. We got blue chips all in that room. Oh, my God. We got one Alabama. We, we got an Alabama receiver. They want it. We, uh, Brian Robinson. We took him. Bama wanted him. We got him. So our receiver room is legit. So Malachi White will be like icing on the cake because it's more competition, right? And it's great for the basketball program. I think it more hurts the basketball program than us, than the uh, football program, honestly. Um, so I'm not really stressed about Malachi White. Uh, let's see. I need some better beats on. Hold on, y'all. All right. Oh yeah. Hope he put Dick back to the, yeah yeah. Me too. Special teams coach. We need Buckley for defensive back coach. We do, but there's some guys out there that Mike Mike Norvell got it. He'll know what to do. Oh, Pachuas, Pachuas, who's that? Defensive end. He said uh Pachuas. Oh, the special team coach, defensive end coach. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about him. Uh, defensive back coach is going to be TB or the guy from Memphis. More likely, probably the guy from Memphis. Something about the name Chubba Tubby is going to be hard. Yeah. Something tell me about that name Chubba. He's going to be a beast. It do, don't it? Like, that's a name, like. He built like, he built like, one thing about Trevor Purdy, why I'm so excited about him, I always wanted him. Well, I always wanted him, but as soon as he popped up on our radar, it's because he looked like, he, he built like, and moved and throw like one of them dudes, you know them uh, players you make on video games or Madden, where you put them like 99, 99, 99 across, and you make them big. He like, he looked like, he's like one of them, like one of them monster clones off of, off of like Madden or something, the creative players. He got all the measurements, man. At the Memphis Bowl, we would get a defensive back coach announcement. Oh, okay. So, I think it's more likely going to be somebody from Memphis. I don't think we're getting T-Buck. Well, we could. I mean, but eh, I don't see it. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know with Mike Norvell, man. I don't think it's really going to matter. As long as he gets somebody that's... He going to hire the right person. I, I trust him. I trust him. Yeah, we going to flip a lot of talent coming up. We going to flip a lot of talent. Now that we got, especially we got a, with the quarterbacks we got, it's going to be people knocking on that door. We're going to be turning people away. He was a defensive coordinator in Nebraska. Okay, well, it can't hurt. Chubba go start, out of boy, say, mark my words. He said, yep, I trust him. Man, Chubba going to be a dog, y'all. <laughs> and he ain't no big dummy. He's, his daddy's a coach. He's smart, too. Oh, man, y'all. Y'all just... I, I'm so excited about this class, man. I didn't think I would be. I, I didn't. Y'all saw how I was the past few weeks. I'm like, uh, man, I, man, this class is nice. I don't give a damn. It's number 21. It don't mean that don't mean nothing. You see, is what ESPN saying? Oh, Florida State winning a recruiting. People like, ha, huh, they number 21. ESPN like so. Look at what they got. <laughs> Clemson is the measuring stick. Right. For now. Yeah, Clemson is. Jim Lovett is a new defensive coordinator at FAU with Willie. They going to do fine. They going to do fine. Let's yeah, Willie called them up. Let's go skin them kittens. Right. Got to keep y'all. Got to go keep y'all keep it. No. Blood. That's right, kids. Stop. <laughs> go to your, gotta go. See you, uh, Marcus. Leave a like for the channel. Thank you, baby. Thank you for supporting. Holla. What's up, Christian? Celebration, baby. All right. Where we at? Who was I at? Offensive line. Arizona State. Oh, the ball game. Damn. God damn, the ball game. Do 
do we have a chance to win against Arizona State, y'all? Where's, where's the bowl game at? What's the, what's the bowl? I don't even know what the bowl game is. It, it, it's, in, it's on December 29th. I know that. Seven days. I don't see too many people talking about the bowl game. I honestly think the FSU fan base don't give a damn. That's not good for the players. That's not good for our chances to win that game. I don't think Florida State fans give a damn. I'm, I'm honestly saying. And it's, I think it's far. It's far. Like, I don't think the fans going to travel all the way out there. Nobody care about us. Yeah, nobody care about the Sun Bowl. I keep forgetting to talk about it today. I, I, oh, matter of fact, the celebration is going to be on the bowl day. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. We should have a good crowd. So the bowl game going to have me, my wife, and my kids and the results of the bowl game. What time, what time is the bowl game? I hope it's a night game. Oh, December 31st. Oh, okay. So... What's the day? Oh, it's gonna be before the bowl game. So it's on a uh It's on a on a it's on a Saturday, right? It's on a Saturday, right? At 2 p.m. See, three, four, five, six. I might still go live in the in the evening. Yeah, I might, I might because my kids, that's too early for my kids. What time is it? Two? So that's 1, 12, 11, 10. Three, four, five. Oh, that's 6 a.m. No, I'm not doing a live at 6. All right, so it's on a Tuesday. That's, a, that's, a, that's like a 6 a.m. for me on Tuesday. 6 a.m., right? 5, 4, 3, 2. Yeah. So it's like a 6 a.m. game for me. So, yeah, we're going to go live later in the evening. That's a bowl. It'll be late. I'll go on that next, on that day, I'll go late in the evening still. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, I won't. I'll go right after the game. I'll go live. Because that's not... Okay, that's not a celebration with my kids. All right. Christian, what you talking about? It ain't... It ain't... It ain't mine, Christian. It's theirs. Get out. <laughs> Start stuff. Tuesday. We send players to the lead at last. Florida, Miami, not so much. We send players to the lead at last. Yeah, it's true. Jarvis Winston, man. Jarvis Winston went off today. He went off the past two weeks. He broke a record. 400 plus yards, two straight games. That ain't been done in years. So that's great. Hopefully he keep his job. Dalvin Cook, El Paso sucks. And it's in the middle of nowhere and it's going to be cold. Man, shut up. <laughs> you just worry about beating Louisiana Tech. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Um, but yeah. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Um, oh, I'm jumping now. Oh, it's like every time I get to three hours, it starts jumping. I'm freezing up. Hold on. All right. See, like it's better. Hopefully. Okay. What up, K Brown? Winston, Winston ain't lose no game, Yellow. Man, stop all that hate. He busted y'all butts every year. Put the finger up. Shut up, Miami. Winston ain't lose that game. I'm a Bucks fan. So you talking to the wrong one with that. No running game. No running game at all. No running backs. That's on the, that's on the Bucks organization. They passed up Dalvin Cook. They passed up all types. No. He ain't got no running back. He's throwing, he throwing for 400 plus yards. He can't win the game, but look at the stats. Winston ain't lose that game. People always try to blame Winston. This is NFL. This ain't college football. You got to have some boys around you. Winston ain't, Winston ain't have no running back ever at, at Tampa. He ain't got no running backs ever. No offensive line, but it's always Winston's fault. Man. Oh, take this off. Jump. God dang it. This thing pissing me off. Sorry, y'all. This app pissing me off. I'm jumping again at it. Alright. Where's the walk on bowl at? <laughs> Arizona State going to beat the brakes off Florida State. I don't think Florida State fans care. Let them, let them know 23-20 with a pick six. So what? So what?
So what? It's NFL. Look at his numbers the past three weeks. What Miami quarterback you got a first round number one pick that's balling in, that's in, balling in the NFL breaking records right now? Miami ain't doing nothing. El Paso's a pretty big city. Winston is the office. Yeah, Winston the whole goddamn office. Thank you. It's all it's on Winston. No running back, no line. You know the Miami, you know the Miami Hurricanes go go. Oh, Winston, they gonna talk about they gonna talk about Winston losing the game, throwing a pick six, but they ain't gonna talk about him being the number one quarterback in the in, uh, first round, number one draft pick. They ain't gonna talk about it. They never bring up. They say, they say crab legs. They never bring up. We gonna talk about Jameis Winston right now. We got time. Damn it. Whatever. Let's talk about Jameis Winston. Let's talk about the haters. Oh, he or he he this he that. Okay. Why he don't ever come up with all that stress on his brain? All the nonsense, all the lying, all the haters. Number one quarterback drafted in the whole goddamn NFL draft. And never comes up, do it. As a, as a red shirt freshman, busted, busted everybody ass, won a national championship and the goddamn Heisman. Kiss my black ass. Next year, had no, all he had was a fresh, uh, uh, Dalvin Cook, Defense couldn't hold water. <laughs> Our defense was bad in 2014. Offensive line wasn't that good either. Hurt it. Winston got his ankle hurt. Every single goddamn game we was behind, wasn't we? First half, we behind seven, ten points, twelve points. What happened? Winston come out there, bust their ass. We lost, he lost one game his whole career at Florida State. Let's talk facts now. Busted Miami ass twice. Busted the Gators ass. He beat Miami pretty much just him. The second time we put that finger up, Miami was talking all that trash, wasn't it? Cussing them out from the feet. Miami like, oh, we want to, we want Florida. This how I know Miami full of crap, right? This how I know Miami full of crap. Most, not all the fans, but it's always half. We got, we got fans full of crap too. So I ain't, I ain't gonna just point the fingers. But you can tell the full of crap fans. Because you got the, the fans be like, oh, we want Florida State and Miami to be good again. But then when Florida State got good, they ain't want us good, did they? <laughs> they was going against us every goddamn game. A win, a win, a win, 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 a win, 29 straight. And then seven straight on the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes bragging about three straight, do seven. Till then, shut up. <laughs> Yeah, Miami ain't got no quarterbacks, y'all. They ain't got no quarterbacks. He said, I got to talk about somebody. The Jags also. He's talking about some Lamar. Lamar ain't from Miami. Lamar better than Winston. Lamar ain't from Miami. <laughs> but Lamar probably is better than Winston. But who cares? Lamar ain't, Lamar ain't accomplished what Winston accomplished in college. Lamar got a Heisman. Did Lamar get that Heisman? I need to get his ass bust the night before by somebody. That's why he didn't get the Heisman. But he better than Winston. What he did in college? Lamar got a national championship. He got a Heisman. What'd he do? What'd he do? All he did was cry on the sideline because Florida State didn't want his black ass. Somebody stop me. <laughs> somebody tell me something now. Let me know. Let me know something. Lamar, all Lamar did was be mad because Florida State didn't recruit him. Remember that? <laughs> ah, boy, I'm a, boy, I'm a fool with it. Because <laughs> I know what they got they do with it. That light button, folks. I'm taking my shades off. Don't you talk about my Winston. Nobody better talk about my Jameis Winston. Number one, please. Don't talk about my Winston. He the best quarterback in Florida State history. I don't let nobody talk about Jameis. He the best quarterback in Florida State goddamn history. I don't want to hear about Charlie Ward. I don't want to hear about Chris Winkie. I don't want to hear about Dan Busby. I don't want to hear about Dan Kendra. I don't want to hear about the Rooster. I don't want to hear a goddamn thing. Jameis Winston's the GOAT. Now put that in your Miami pipe and smoke it. <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, let's get it though. Hey, boy, stop. let's get it though. Uh, let's get it. Oh, Lamar won a Heisman. So what? 
Yeah, he probably. Yeah, right. Lamar, the best quarterback besides Tom Brady and Breeze in the game. He's trying to win a Super Bowl his first, what? Second year? Hey, I tell you one thing, Lamar good, right? Everybody talk, everybody talk about Lamar good. That's because of his legs, though. Let me, t- let me tell you something about the game. It's because of his legs and his speed. Wait till them hits start. Wait till them hits start adding up. Because he ain't... Lamar Lamar Jackson ain't diving much right now, is he? Oh. He gonna start diving when them hits start. One good hit. He gonna get... He gonna start slowing down that running. Look at Michael Vick. Michael Vick got slower than hell, didn't he? After that first... He like Michael Vick right now. He's young, spry. But once those hits add up... Let's see if he can pick a, sit in the pocket and pick apart defenses. See, y'all looking at how fast he is. Oh, oh, he, oh. And only last, that, that speed for quarterbacks in the NFL, for them, them linebackers hitting them, that only lasts about two, three years. He gonna have to, can he sit back in the pocket and read the defense? That's gonna be the, that's gonna have to, we gonna see how good he is then. Then you can put him up, he, that's why I say, he ain't up there with Tom Brady and Drew Brees. Hell no, no, hell no. He got that speed, but that's only a short window. See? But yeah, right now he yeah he, right now he balling. But one, he only one good hit away though. The way he play, oh somebody gonna get him. Somebody gonna pop the hell out of him. He don't slide. <laughs> he better start. I get scared when he be running. Like dude, slide. This ain't college football. He gonna learn. Uh, Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota. He learned the hard way, didn't he? Marcus Mariota ain't Super Mario no more, is he? Now since he got his back broke. Only a small window for those mobile quarterbacks. What's his face on uh, Seattle? He's smart. He can read defense. That's why he lasts. He can run a little bit. What's that dude on Seattle? All right, Charlie Ward. I ain't trying to hear about no Charlie Ward. He my favorite player in Florida State history, y'all. Charlie Ward is my favorite player in Florida State history because he was the first player I saw when I was like 13 or something like that. My first Florida State, when I first started watching college football, and my auntie was in my ear, so I had no choice but to, uh, but to be a Florida State fan. But I, he was my first like superstar, like I love, right? But he still ain't better than Jameis Winston. <laughs> he ain't got that arm like Jameis. No, 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 not even close. Jameis Winston was the number one in a Charlie Ward ain't get drafted. Jameis Winston was the number one quarterback, number one pick. What other Florida State did that? I think it was maybe one. I don't know. It don't matter. Winston the best Florida State quarterback in history. Yeah, Lamar was mad. Lamar did win the Heisman. That was FSU lost. Now looking back, no, I wouldn't say it was FSU lost. No, it's just that we had better prospects. There were better prospects than Lamar that we had. They got in trouble. If you look at the prospects we had coming in, we had the number one dual threat quarterback in the country. Uh, uh, I can't remember his name. We had the number one dual threat quarterback in the country coming in. We ain't get. We ain't want Lamar. It, it probably would been better to get Lamar because maybe he was better in the head. But if you look at talent and skill set, Malik. Malik was better than Lamar. Number one quarterback in the country. That's why we didn't go and get Lamar. We was we was balling on the uh, recruiting trail. Lamar was like begging to come to Florida State. That's why he played us so angry and put him 63 points. Lamar was trying to put up 80 points on us. He was so mad. Because he wanted to play for us. We his, we his dream school. That's a, Lamar is like that. Lamar is highly emotional. He plays angry. That's why uh, at Baltimore, he didn't want to be in Baltimore. That's why he plays so angry. He felt he got robbed. He felt he felt he got overlooked. He didn't want to go to crappy Baltimore. He mad. Lamar mad right now. He playing mad. He's a beast. I like him. I like his attitude. He talked trash when he back it up. Winston didn't have it. Winston didn't even have, yeah. The second 2014, Jameis Winston didn't even have his top receivers. He had Travis, Travis, uh, uh, Travis something. And he had the uh, what do they call him? The, 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 the midget package. 
Our receivers weren't good that 2014. We said they have no receivers. He didn't even have uh, the great nigga Leary, his security blanket. Y'all, y'all said the other day that what's his face, that big tall receiver? No. His security blanket was Nick O'Leary. He didn't even have him. And Winston still went like 11 and 1. 10 and 1, something like that. By himself. He had Dalvin Cook, though. Dalvin Cook helped against Miami. James was the best quarterback in Florida State history, y'all. I'll fight anyone on that one. I ain't trying to hear about no Chris Week or Charlie Ward. I will argue that to the end. James Winston gets the most is the most disrespected player because of how ESPN. Now, Miami's supposed to hate him. I ain't, I ain't worried about Miami. It's, of course they're going to hate him. Of course. Look what he accomplished. Miami ain't done nothing in 20 years. Of course, they're supposed to hate him. I got haters. I'll be like, yeah, yeah, you're supposed to hate me. Yeah, I can, I can see why. Your life sucks. Yeah, of course. But ESPN got this old stupid trending thing. Miami's like, Miami take anything. They mouth wide open. Anything to hate Winston. And they're like, yeah, yeah, he, he did that. Yeah, he did this. Yeah, yeah, crab legs. Oh, oh, yeah. Can we talk about what's on the got? What happened on the goddamn field? I get sick of all that nonsense. That don't mean nothing. What happened on the goddamn field? Hit that like button. I keep it real all goddamn day. He's a goddamn goat. Period. You heard it here live. This is the war daddy spot. God damn it, you can't stop the top. Got me passionate right now. I'm lit. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> Music package. Where's the head the goddamn music pack? No, Malik Henry ain't no bus. Malik Henry ain't no bus. You should have seen him in a spring game. Mentally, mentally he messed up. But on the field, Malik Henry a dog. He could have been, yeah, right, putting in. He would have been special. He ain't no bust. He had an attitude problem. If you call that a bust, I don't know. When I say bust, I mean a dude can't play. The dude could play, he just mentally, yeah, he got depression. So his career, he messed his career. He had a severe depression problem. Oh, he had O'Leary in 2014, did he? Damn, the offensive line sucked. O'Leary didn't, O'Leary didn't have a, that good of a year. He did? Really? I thought he went pro in 2013. We lost a lot of players in 2013, though. We got Toa Philly, Anthony Grant coming back. Um, yeah, Grant definitely coming back. Toa Philly, LeBron, I don't know. I don't know what he gonna do. Yeah, Larry, uh, Larry was his security blanket. Uh, Larry was great for Winston. Winston like his tight ends. That's why he's still doing NFL. A uh, tight ends. If Winston got a good tight end, you in trouble. That's your ass. He will, he will, he will ten to fifteen yard you all the way down the field if he got a tight end. First down, first down, first down. Okay, hey, check this out, y'all. Since we talk about Jameis Winston, right? Right? Okay, Jameis Winston, we can argue about... It is no argument. It is no argument. Jameis Winston made the, made the, made the game look so goddamn easy. Didn't he? <laughs> I don't give a damn about... Okay, two, 2013 Florida State was loaded. You still think we would have won a national championship without James Winston? You out your goddamn mind. If we had any quarterback, who's the quarterback that came before James? If we had any other quarterback, that, no. If you think James could have been replaced 2013 because we were so loaded, you out your goddamn mind. James was the piece that put everything together. He was the finishing touch. Without him, we wouldn't have won no national championship. We wouldn't have won no 29 straight games. I don't give a damn. We had Dalvin Cook and everybody. We still wouldn't have won no 29 straight games. That's real talk. Let, put, put it this way, y'all. This is one thing people don't talk about. All right. James Winston was so good, they had to push him out the college football game. Y'all don't hear me, though. Y'all don't hear me, though. James Winston, yeah, Rudolph was a five-star, but he ain't do good. He was bust. He's Yeah, right, putting in. He busted. Yeah, they focus on the off-field stuff. They put, they, hey, the Miami fans, ESPN, the Gators, everybody wanted Jameis Winston gone so bad. That's why they was pushing that. I can't really say this live, but you know what I'm talking about, the ape, the apist. They was pushing that so hard because they was trying to p push Jameis out of here. We got to get this dude out of here. If y'all see how they did it at first, ESPN think they slick, right? This is what ESPN did, right? So they started off with, you know, 
Oh, the great sensation. They always build you up at first, right? That first game against Pittsburgh, they always build you up to, so they can take you down. So it's like, oh, he's perfect. Oh, he's God. Oh, four touchdown, a five, what, four touchdown, a five touchdown passing game. Nick O'Leary had like three. Oh, he's a sensation. Never. Slowly, he was doing too much. <laughs> okay, now he's doing too much. All right, Jameis. Let's push out this thing by him being a sexual assault. Let's just keep pumping it every week, every week. Let's put stress on him. Every interview, why you, why you not worried? Coach, Coach Jimbo, like, it's because, it's because uh, he innocent, right? So they put all this pressure. Jameis Winston could have could have stayed one more year. Why not? Why not? He only lost one game in two years because of the pressure. <laughs> they were trying to, they pushed him up out. Why you not pushing Trevor Lawrence out? And then they tried, and then what, what they tried, then what they tried, then what they tried. Uh, uh, Jameis, uh, hold on, I'm freezing up. And then what they tried. Oh, we don't know how Jameis, how good Jameis is under pressure. Oh, the music, I'm sorry. Uh, we don't know if he can handle pressure. So every time Jameis get blitzed, what he do? He picked the defense apart, didn't he? Picked it apart. I'm starting to freeze up. Hold on. Damn it. He put his charge in. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Now, what I want to do, I'm bringing the whole point home. Before I let me see, let me read, let me read some comment. Uh, JB was the man for real. Winston was the glue. All right. That's better. A little better. All right, now, Winston played four years. He'd be totally erased. He would be totally, he would totally erase all Chris Winkie, um, all his, uh, all his records, right? Now, check this out. Winston was sitting on the half of most of his games. Winston, they were blowing out the teams in the first half because Winston was throwing all these touchdowns, driving them down the field. I think I'm gone. Right? Winston was Winston was gone. Winston would erase all that. Think about the stats he would have had if he played full games. <laughs> think about it. I'm freezing up. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, I'm freezing, y'all. All right. Yeah, they build up to break you down. Sorry, I'm freezing up, y'all. It's getting annoying. But yeah, if Winston played the whole second half of them games, it'd be a wrap. It'd be a wrap. What's up, Mochi? So can I ask you a question on that topic? Oh Lord, what's up, boo? <laughs> I ain't gonna stay on much longer because yeah, my it's freezing up. It doesn't after about three hours for some reason it's an app I'm using. Go ahead. <laughs> it's annoying. Still Peace, Ramon. See ya, King. Thanks for Thank y'all so much for joining me.
No blood raw.